Because there's no way you post that and think that it's acceptable. That doesn't even like a natural position. This is what she was doing. She was like this. She was like this. Whoa. Whoa. Demonetized. Whoa, it's still there. My bad. Let me flip back. Oh, whoa, this is worse. Damn, what's... Oh, four. Get up, low. <laughs> Get up, low, please. Low, low, low. Rage is going to see this, and they're going to say put two men behind you. You're going to put two men... Hey, you low, frame? stop. Hey, you oh, my God. Hey, you got me frame? You're low. in frame, bro. What do you... you now, I see why he moved out, so he could do this shit by himself. <laughs> This freaky nigga. You freakily get on the couch. Are those khaki jean shorts? No, they're not khaki, nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> oh. Why did you say khaki? I thought like it was khaki jean shorts. Nigga, they, they have pockets. On oh, they got the corduroy on, on the knee brim. Nigga, they have literally, they literally <laughs> have pockets. How can they be khaki with pockets? Corduroy on, the on the knee brim. What do you mean? Brim. Khakis have pockets. No zip up pockets like this? Huh? Zip it's streetwear khaki. Never. Corduroy on the knee brim is tough, though. Yeah, you see the knee brim? You see the corduroy on the knee brim? Yeah. Heat the pieces, low. I see you. Oh, as mothers, there. Okay, you have to step out a little bit. Happy mothers to all the mothers out there. Actually, we don't, we're not doing love y'all. until um, huh? next uh, next week. Bro, I'll just get, I was giving respect to the mothers. Oh, yeah. You told me I stepped out, but I'm just saying I didn't. Oh. Yeah, but shout out to um, Happy yeah. Mothers, except for her. All the mothers out there, we love y'all, <laughs> especially me. Except for her, happy Mother's Day. Nah, nah, nah. Even you. Even you. No, she don't need to be happy Mother's nah. Day. Nah. You didn't see the photo. For the audio listeners, I didn't see the photo. a photo of a baby on a couch, and the mom is in doggy position. Let me see. Send it to me. I'm going to send it to you. Let the me see so I know. Can Kayla put that on the screen? You probably can. Yeah, put that on the screen. If you, what put, you, it, put if, in the peer-to-peer I'm, chat I'm so Caleb can. Yeah, I'm going to drop nigga, it Nigga, if, if whatever chat. you did make the video, he could put that in there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a fact. I'm um, low key disrespecting how you tutored it up in my presence like that. Like, that's what she did, me. though. And I, I'm not gonna lie. I looked for like an extra second to make sure. Yeah, like, like he tutored it life. straight towards me. And like, I was like, oh, I was that's like, you could have tutored towards that's, Agent or two Camera Three, but you wanted to it towards John. <laughs> so Marcel, <laughs> what's nah, going on, she, man? She basically was in doggy position, but she quoted it, a mother's love, and it's just like in one of the photos, the baby's face was covered because she was posing in front of it. You sent it to me yet? Yeah, it's in the Peter. It's in the Peter Peter chat. It's just such an interesting photo that didn't need to exist. Let me see. I guess. Not saying she doesn't oh. love her baby, but showing her eyes. Man, in a weird nigga, way. is that is what someone 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 someone? Is Man, that low? You, tri- you is tripping? That, is that tile? Is that tile? She's on. I don't. Low, know. you're tripping. Is that, her knees on tile? I thought you made it, it seem is, like man. she was nigga, doing. That's not com- nigga. Come on, dog. There's not there's not a human being on this earth who's doing something like that. Then how how is she supposed to sit like that? Low, she's playing with the baby on the couch. How she nigga just how she job? What are you talking about? She just got she just got a big butt and she don't know what to do with it. She got a tutor like that. No, she actually she, there's no other. She got no other option, low. Where's she, she gonna put the actually, asset, low? Where's she gonna put the asset, low? She actually does. She gonna take it off and so she can sit crisscross apples. That's some lame, low, low. Okay, yeah. it's not as bad. I thought you meant she had the baby in the far left, like in the. You know them older couches with the recline that be by themselves? Like, they had the baby on the individual reclining couch in the back. And she, like, tooted up away from the baby, like, doing their own photo shoot type shit. And the baby just in the background. No, but the but the point is, there's no... That'd be I'm, fine. I'd literally be fine. I've because, actually never... I've actually, because that's, like, she would be the focus of that, right? Yeah, like, and the baby is like, just the in the background. Be the, the that, like, the baby would be cropped point. out. You know what I'm saying? The like, baby, the baby is the vocal port in this... Well, that First of all, no, it's not. Part. Exactly. <laughs> but no, what's she, she supposed she, to do with she's, it, Lo? She's, she's using the baby to make sure it's understood that she's a mother to justify the picture she's Is she taking single? of her ass. Is she single? I don't know. I don't really give a fuck. Was she trying to kill two birds in one stove? Oh, mother oh, Day oh, posted in a little thirst trap. I hope, she, I hope she is single <laughs> because there should not be a man on this earth that has so little dignity that would allow that to be posted. Makes no sense. I don't. I, it, low is not as bad as you making it seem. I can see the you want it to be a little more. You know what I'm saying? Less ratchet for a Mother's Day post. But I mean, I've seen worse. She does have a fat ass. It's like what she supposed to do? Is she supposed to take the, it off for the not, picture? It's just not the. It's not the day. It's the not, moment. It's not about her having an ass, bro. It's about the pose, bro. Like, like, but like, say Come if on, you was getting arch, if dog. you was getting something <laughs> out of the couch, how would you get it? If you, if Nigga, you was, but who puts a baby on on this part of the couch? Was she? Who fucking posts with It was their a creative art? gesture. 
She just look at the baby like it's not creative. She it's probably actually, hit a couple Google. It's actually Gaga's. the opposite of creative because hey, all she's, she's doing is just sh- this, bro. Huh? She's not watching. She could be watching just how she's sitting. <laughs> she could. What's she watching it just how she's sitting? <laughs> <laughs> Look what back she, at it for me. What if she just does everything in that position? She just cooks like that. Sometimes on, maybe that's just a natural tile, resting position. Like that. On, on tile, it's that's not. A, that's a natural on resting tile, huh? On tile, she might be a stripper. And Derek on knows. tile, like know. everything you say, it still doesn't ignore the fact that it can't be comfortable if it's on tile. What do you mean, Lo? Her knees are on tile. She has pants on though. It doesn't matter, niggas it's who grout, niggas who grout tile. They even want pants on. They still put padding on their knees. Nigga, you walk with no socks on on tile. You walk with no socks on now. What is that? What the, is I think it? the photo would have lost its zest if she put on knee pads. The photo would have lost zest if she just took a respectable mother day. What's mother's she supposed day? to do? <laughs> put a blouse on and a and a blazer. Just, just hold and her. Stand just, hold, just just hold her baby up next to her. Happy Mother's Day. That, that's a that's cute it. little picture though. Like, like is, is the baby a boy or a girl? I don't know because everybody's looking at the ass. I mean, you can see the baby in a little bit of picture. She threw the peace sign in her baby's face. Yeah, she threw the peace sign in the baby face. Like, <laughs> fuck the baby. I don't give. Y'all know. Y'all know what y'all here for. I mean, I mean, look. She does have a nice bottom, though. That's it's like it don't even belong to her. A little Photoshop, <laughs> low key. I want to see is she is, is she trolling me? Is it a is this a joke? Like the way uh, it extends. Like if you cover up, like you cover up her first half like this. You're like, damn. Then you cover the ass, you're like, you're not supposed to have that. But I can oh, I see the dog. where she need to have that in her face at. We get it. Imagine yeah, when the baby like grows up and see that photo. The baby look happy. I wonder what they watching on TV. That Judge Judy. <laughs> like you all saying we get it, dog. You have some a, Teen Titans. Doctor Eric Ofiti. O D D. Oh, she Nigerian. I, you know what? I got that vibe from her. Yep. No cap. Yep. And I, right. she probably could dance too. I bet that motherfucker yeah. jump. <laughs> I bet that bitch jiggle out of this world, don't it? I bet that boy got ultra jalosity. Oh my god! You going on intro, bro? Welcome everyone to another episode of the Peer to Peer Podcast. Uh, I am your host, Agent Zero. I'm joined today with my co-host. Yo, what up, podcast people? It's the one and only Legend of Winning, aka Low. You know what I'm saying? We got producer John in the back. Making you sure already know what it is, man. It's your boy John winning always in life. You know what I'm saying? I'm not two. I'm the one. Yeah. Legend of John. And it's Legend of Agent here. So yeah. how you yeah, doing? Is a whole bunch of legends. Three-headed goats. <laughs> uh, yo, video is available on Peer to Peer. If y'all listen on the audio platforms, you want to catch the video because we can't really show you the photo we're talking about on audio platforms. Of course, we could sit there and describe it. John, how would you describe the photo? It looked like Lowe's. And then just take the top part of Lowe's off and put like a little waist and a little Nigerian girl in the front. Yep. Mm. All right. Well, there you go. Should Spot I say up. pause? I, a little. A little. <laughs> yeah. Defin- definitely. Even though I was trolling? Yeah. Was like, nah, nah. Was he trolling or was he serious? I can't uh, tell. Anyway, Spotify. Well, you wouldn't be able to tell because he didn't toot his ass towards you. He <laughs> tooted it towards me. So hey, I that's got a memory for you, though. No cap. But like it was an IMAX movie. <laughs> you know the dinosaur, the brontosaurus comes out. You're like, ah, it's gonna bite me. Uh, Spotify, yeah. Google Play, Stitcher. Thanks for showing love. It's Apple Podcast, man. Drop us a five star. We just hit four thousand five stars. We trying to run up the ranks, man. Top gaming podcast, of course. Um, of make sure to say a big fuck you to Audio Mac, and it's a word of mouth, people, man. Thanks for showing love again. Videos available on YouTube. Make sure to put on notifications uh, and join the. No, the gang, 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 gang. Hey, if, I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, thanks, guys. I don't know what it is, but I have, like, severe brain fog. I was just recording a video, and usually I can run through, like, the talking videos. I don't even need to stop. I'm just in the m- moment. In, like, the last, like, few days, literally, like, my brain is just, like, I have to find the information in there. Like, I got to sift through, like, a large library full of books. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Don't know what it is, man. You think you're sleepy? I am. Maybe it's because I'm fasting, and like usually I start my day by drinking something like yeah. water or diet tea or Coke Energy. But I'm starting my day now. How many more days you got? Like two more, bro. I'm so ready for this to be done. Oh yeah, you just <laughs> you look sleepy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm dead tired right now. I'm just trying yeah. to force it because like I had to do things during the day. I slept no cap, bro. In the last thirty hours, I slept like twenty five of them. Wow. wow. I just put, go to sleep, wake up three hours later. I do something for an hour, go to sleep. Same thing. It's weird. Yeah, that's when, uh, that's when my days. So y'all said podcast at five. I'm like, I'm not doing anything. I'm just trying to stay awake. So. Wow. Uh, All right. Okay. All well, right. Congrats on almost being done with the fasting. I, I woke up this morning and had a Texas 
sausage cheese type much this morning. I'm I'm not even care about the food at all. Really then after drink. that, I had a big ice cold bottle of water. <laughs> right when I woke up. What else did you have? Talk to me about it, man. What you, you matter? What you do for um, Mother's Day? This morning? You know, I had, you know my Dukes. <laughs> Got to do it for Dukes. My Dukes. <laughs> my Dukes. So my you know what I said. Woke up a little bit. <laughs> Came home a little early. Got up early. Beat her up. You know what I'm saying? The Dukes. Wait, what? I beat her up. What are you talking about? I beat. What are I, you talking about? I nigga? beat her up. What are you talking about? I beat her. Like I woke up before her. What are you talking about? I woke up oh, earlier than her. Okay, okay. What are y'all? <laughs> okay, John. <laughs> Look, why you, why your neck like that? Clarifying. Thanks for clarifying. Oh, I had to clarify. You thought I whooped my mom ass on Mother's Day? Nah, not not that. Oh, not that. What are you thinking about? <laughs> yeah, Low had to move out so he could release his freakiness. Low nah, showing his colors John. today. That like one must have some coming. You got, you got up before her. Okay. Yeah, I got up before her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got her a car. Gave her the car. You know what I'm okay. saying? My grandma stuff. Got in the car. Chauffeur her. Drove to a nice little brunch spot. Mm. She got her a little something delicious. Mm. I got me some baguettes. Mm. They sell those. Outside of France? Yeah. A lot of places don't. Yeah. They only do it on brunch, so it's a special what occasion. What is a baguette, bro? What is it? It's a type of bread. Is it a bagel? No, it's like a dessert. It's like what a is French, it, like ice cream like in a, there? Like a French donut. It's like oh. a donut with a drizzle of powdered sugar with a drizzle of honey and your choice of raspberry dipping sauce or like strawberry preserve. Man. It's, it's I don't, wonderful. I don't, like, I don't like things like that. I can that, only bro. eat two of them for my jaw start hurting. Because like one that, you know, like you eat sourdough bread and like you eat it. You know what I'm saying? Your jaw start hurting. If you chew, you I've never, never had that neither. You never had like bread. You just chew it for too long. Your jaw start hurting. Hey, what kind of bread do you usually eat, man? Like as, that only happens when I eat sourdough bread. Why y'all keep looking at each other? I'm just trying to make sure we. Because you said you never like chew something for like a long time, like a bread, like or a piece of steak, and you chew it, and then like you chewing it or some bread that's a little like a little thicker, a little thicker bread. A little more grain in it. Sour dough bread sounds disgusting. No, it's not. Oh, it's not actually. It's not. It's, it's like, not. But it's it's not like white bread. It only just melt in your mouth. You gotta has, like chew it. It has a chew to it, but not so much of a chew. Sour. But I be dough chewing. I, I'm a hard chewer. Yeah, like especially with certain, certain type of yeah. I'm a, I'm a hard chewer. And, um, so not breading. Certain type of sandwiches that you make. Yeah. With it, especially with like a um uh, uh like, like a patty tangy, melts. a tangy mustard paninis, paninis like panini. No, I'm not. There's no. something called sourdough bread that tastes yeah. like hey, you know, so tangy you know, so mustard. It's no, sourdough bread, yeah. When you, when you eat with it, a tangy yeah. mustard kind of goes really well with it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you've you've had it before. I don't do that, but I eat it with other I'm stuff. Pretty, I'm pretty sure like you had soups. It if you go to Panera Bread, you can ask yeah, for it. Yeah, yeah. Go there. Go, go, yeah, yeah, Panera for sure. Bread. We can Panera record bread? you. No. We can record you. Go there and ask the lady. Go, hey, can I get some of that sourdough bread? And then she's gonna hook you up. Why is that? Oh, Did you she get do a, a performance you, or something? Why you, is it you, worth recording? You, you can go get a um uh bread bowl soup. Oh yeah, get a bread bowl soup with sourdough. Make sure you say sourdough. You get like um, I'll say I'm trolling. You get a piece no. of <laughs> no. no wait, well, I'm about, what well, I'm what I'm saying is serious. I'm, I'm not, not saying trolling. I'm not I'm not saying yeah, go to Panera say, Bread and, and record yourself. <laughs> yeah. Going going to Panera Bread and record yourself is is no, but like they have like this thing where they cut out like um a hole in bread. Yeah. And they just put soup in it. It's the size of a basketball. No, it's not. I got that. I'm, I'm gonna stick to the shit that I know. This size man. of a volleyball. What, bro? I've been trying shit too much. I tried McDonald's. No, nah, no, nah, you got to No, you got to try, try sourdough. The day. I swear, I've, I you tried like try it. five things I never had at McDonald's. They were all disgusting. You got to try the and sourdough. And I think which word? Which word? Huh? Which which word? I had the filet fish. <laughs> I had, bad choice. I had the McChicken, the That's Big a bad Mac, choice. and like one other thing. But you I, heard a one, Big Mac before? No. And one bite in, I just threw them away. And you know what's crazy? I've had the filet fish before though, and it was valid. Actually, I'm gonna tasted say, warm and crispy. Yeah. I think the one here is just god awful. Yeah, like fucking atrocious. Depends on your location. Yeah, it was. It well, was what, horrible. What time of day was it? Like eight a.m. p.m. No, p.m. Oh. He's on his fast. Oh my bad. <laughs> what the hell? Also, eating all that in the morning would be wild. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Be. Eating a fish fillet in the morning is <laughs> wild. <laughs> So I was just, I I, just, I I guess I got to try it again in a different state. You know, you know the state of Georgia has horrible fast food, like the Chick-fil-A? fast the fast food. Chick-fil-A? That, the Chick Fil A y'all have here is the same as Chick Fil A everywhere else, but like the Subways, the Popeyes, now the McDonald's are all very very horrible compared to where they are elsewhere. Like where? It's so weird. Mm. 
No. Anywhere else. I've had Subway in LA and New York. Fantastic. I mean, you maybe just went to a nice location. I, just, I, just, I, just, I legit don't think, I don't, I don't think Subway is all that good. It's period. But yeah, y'all, y'all have had it here. I hate it here. I've I had used to it, work I tried Subway. it three times. I quit. That was my first job. I used Subway to have it here. every other day in Toronto, bro. Subway? Every other day. When, when, when I used to go to New York, Subway was my meal because they had it everywhere. I just had the shit on the go. I just can't eat it here. It's just mid. Yeah. Like, it's you can't mid. eat Subway. You definitely eat sour, though. So make sure you just get that. No troll. No troll. It's real. No, no yeah. troll. You know what's weird? I always thought it was funny, like, how people's brains work because, like, I. You eat a cheeseburger, that's fine, right? Beef, cheese, and you what you put on your what you put on it? Mayo and ketchup. That's common, right? Right. Right. Some people are mayo not, but I eat my burgers plain. Just the bread, cheese, and meat. That sourdough bread? Huh? Sour. Sometimes. Burger King had a sourdough king. Yeah. Yeah, go try the sourdough king. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, they do. They got okay. a sourdough king. But for some reason, when it's in sub form, people's minds just change. I go to Subway, I, you get like an oven roasted chicken, and I say, yo, put some American cheese on there, put mayo and ketchup. And they go, oh, mayo? I'm like, this, that's a burger in sub form. Back the fuck up and stop judging my decision. Wait, you say chicken, though. Yes. I don't, I, don't put, I don't put ketchup on chicken. That's a Dead sandwich. Ass? Yeah, that's a sandwich. A chicken, that's hey, a, sandwich. a sandwich. And it's not a burger. You, call, you don't call it See, chicken. That, but you, what you guys are doing right now is exactly what I'm talking about. Y'all have like these rules for eating that are so odd to no, me. No, if huh? you do that, I mean, may, mayo on the chicken is fine. I don't think that's that crazy. I just don't put ketchup on chicken. Really? Yeah, I don't put ketchup on chicken. Yeah, I, I it's was, not a burger. It's I thought a it was dead fascinating, bro. And like there's some combinations of stuff that I eat that I know is like a little disgusting to most people. But I just have a stomach of steel, though, bro. Like, I can eat anything and just mm, not sound like Oh, you eat it all, bro, huh? I would, sound like Peter. If it yeah, tastes eater. good. Like, if it tastes would, good? Okay. You got him. People eat, all, people eat all type of shit. I, even shit like that is weird to me because, like, for what? example. What? Uh, it, for example, in India, you can't kill cows. Like, it's a part of their religion or whatever. Yeah. So, like, you're not supposed to do that at all, right? Yeah. So, right. but here, we, we, wow, we kill and eat cows like it's nothing. Yeah. Right? But then it's like. I get if something is domesticated, but it's like even some a streamer brought it up on stream two days ago. I was watching, and he's like, "Why don't people eat dogs?" But then like everyone's first reaction is like to flinch, and then, not that I want to eat a dog because I don't really think it would taste good. But what's the flinch about? Because people eat duck, squid, octopus, cows. People eat every type of animal, but I guess if it belongs in a house. But it's like there are places where there are wild dogs. Wild dogs are like ferocious. <laughs> So you telling me you want to try smoke pug? No, I don't like. I like trying things from time to time that kind of make sense. Like I actually don't think it'll be fatty. Garlic parmesan like, terrier. Check this, out, though, check this out. Alligator. I tried alligator. It tasted like worse chicken, but it didn't taste bad. It just didn't taste as good as chicken. But here's lemon a, pepper rock roller. I've tried bison. I've tried um, uh, what's that one Joe Rogan be talking about twenty four seven? Sweet and elk. sour poodle. Elk, yeah. I tried elk. I'm just I just like trying things, but it's interesting to, like people's limitations. They just had these rules for like what they can and can't eat. But it's like in fifty years, like all of that can change. I just don't think dog oven baked Doberman Pinterman fat on it. I think that's, a lot of lean meat. I <laughs> yeah. don't think it'd be good enough. I'll be Yo, here's what I realized. Here's what I realized, guys. Yeah. I realized that chicken and beef are actually the best tasting meats. And we're fat. very blessed that they're also the cheapest ones. Because when you try bison and elk and all these like designer meats. They're, they don't taste Sugar nearly. Said uh, yo, meat. they don't taste as good as beef, and you can find beef anywhere. That's crazy to me. That is crazy to or me. Or you just used but to eating lot, beef. I think. You no, know, I think a lot has to do with, like I said, like the the substance, like the protein uh, that breaks it down. You just the started off eating something, you would like it more. It makes it tender. I think that I think a lot has to do with that. You've been yeah. eating beef I, and chicken since a kid, so it's gonna be like great to you. But if you started off eating I, elk and alligator, you may like it just like you like chicken and beef. To a certain extent, I get that. But I like beef anywhere, though, bro. Like ribs. You can get me top sirloin, tip sirloin. You could any part of the cow. Ooh, like beef hooves? Yo, I, I might fuck around because I haven't tried this yet and eat beef some net. organ meats. No cap. Huh? Organ meats are apparently incredibly healthy for you, especially like because uh, I was on the carnivore diet for a little bit. You're actually supposed to eat organ meats or else you won't meet your nutritional needs for the day. So uh, things like heart, liver, um, they apparently they taste bad, but they're incredibly healthy for you. I want to try that just to see what that's like. No cow. I just don't know how to cook a, a liver, a cow liver. I don't know how to do that. Liver isn't all that crazy. I know people eat livers, but eating heart is. That's, uh, yeah, yeah, all of that stuff exists. But it's, I just like like some people, depending on your culture or where you're from, like you just whoa, whoa, whoa. So what's the saying behind that? Eat a harder day. A harder day keeps the malnutrition away. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that's only for the that's only for the carnivore diet because otherwise you can just get like your regular nutrition. Oh, like, you said carnivore diet. I, yeah. I thought you said I was at the carnival. No, 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 no. I thought you were talking <laughs> no, about nutrition no, at the carnival. Because when you're at the carnivore diet, you're only you're eating only meat. So there's some things oh. you're gonna miss out on unless you eat those organ meats. I don't oh. put I don't put um, ketchup on my hot dog either. Yeah, I don't, I don't put ketchup on. I don't like ketchup. Really? I, oh. I, the only thing I really put ketchup on is, is burgers. That's it. Yo, I have like this thing where like I I have an obsession with a specific condiment for like a three months and then I stop. Mm. Like Chick Fil A sauce, I put on everything for three months. Stop ketchup, everything three months. Stop. Now my new thing is mayo chup. Huh? Is literally Heinz has a bottle that combines the perfect amount of mayo and ketchup. Oh yeah, yeah. So you don't have to do it, bro. That's becoming more common now. Yeah. They call it mayo chup. I put on everything. But so you mayo know what's so crazy? Chup? Is is combination of mayo and ketchup? Mayo chup. You know mayo you, chup. Yeah. You know what's so crazy? That's kind of basically what um Miracle Whip is. Miracle Whip is cert- a certain part of ketchup. Not ke- uh, not Miracle Whip. Um, um, Big Mac sauce. It's nothing but oh, a, really? c- a certain amount of ketchup, mayo, and a smidgen of like ranch with some relish in it. That's all Big Mac sauce is. I've never tried Big Mac sauce. You had a Big Mac. You had a Big Mac. Oh, they put Big Mac sauce on there? Yeah. Honestly, all the burgers the I tried and the sandwiches. <laughs> no, no, no. Because no, it, was it, it was dry. It was dry. They, they put literally put no nothing on there. It was like bread, mm. lettuce, meat, bread again. Mm. It was the worst oh, tasting. Yeah. I literally, after one bite, I gave up on it. I don't it. know who came up with the Big Mac. Like, let's just put another piece of bread in between all this. Why shit. they call it Mac and it's McDonald's? I don't know, but the Who's fact- Mac? Big Mick would sound a little worse, I guess. The Big Mick? No, what? Well, they the do. Big the Mick they Big? Do, they do that already. Yeah, they make chicken. They do it already. That's not big, though. It's regular Mick's size. Chicken. I know what I'm saying is they put a Mick in front of Mick Double so they can just do it. And then I had the smoothie, yeah. too, just so to try it. The, no, the, the smoothies, no. It no, it's tastes great. like chocolate milk, but, like, it's not as good as, like, a nah. Chick- Chick-fil-A just tastes good. What's m- you mean milkshake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, they, but their smoothie and milkshake is just not good. The smoothies like are straight. The, sm- the strawberry banana. No. Which one did I have? It's not bad. I had, I had the milkshake. Which one you had? You said chocolate. Yeah. You had chocolate milkshake? Yeah, I did. That shit was mid. Anyway, I just know not to go back to McDonald's here in Georgia. I'll try another one somewhere else. You got to try another location. It's thousands. Yeah, that's why I said it, not in Georgia, though. Mm. Or if it is in Georgia, like an opposite side of the state. Mm. Yeah. yeah, man. Um, Let's talk about this pot of smoke thing, man. Oh. What does that mean? They found out who, um, who uh, took them. his life. And it was a 15-year-old kid. Who um, basically robbed him and took his life for a, a watch, and then turned around and sold it for uh, two thousand dollars. What kind of robber kills people? That's like Wait, rule hold number on. one in robbing people is try not to kill nobody. You say he killed somebody and sold the watch for two bands, two thousand dollars. And it, if Pop Smoke had the watch, I know it cost more than. It cost more. You risk, you did all that like. <sighs> what are your thought? What are your thoughts on that? Because there's a lot of people who are like. Having this is why I start notice I'm like I'm sorry I might be conservative because there's people who immediately like the people who like no like wait listen it was a, already bro it was you're, some you're people, not even thirty man are you thirty no stop oh, okay stop. you're Seven. gonna get there then no, I'm he's forty seven <laughs> come on now. um I be belated there, there were <laughs> there were there were a bunch of people who were like saying like um man that's what this capitalism society does to us man I was like oh really that's not that's not conservative at all. Wait, conservative? What do no, you no, do? no, no, no. I'm, I'm thinking to myself, like, oh. why? Capitalism? That's what we're blaming on right now? Like, really? And he just, like, it was a bunch of people saying that, like. Not crime? Yeah, I was like, they were like, man, we just got to <laughs> fix the way society is set up. We're so worried about a dollar amount and not people's lives. It's just that he was pressured to doing that. And I'm like, really? Like, maybe, maybe like, 10% of that might be true, but, like. He just didn't care. Like he just didn't care about his life. That's that's what happened. Like we don't have to like do that much of a deep dive on it. Maybe some reasoning behind it, but it's like it's clear he just like he committed a crime. He's committing crimes before that probably. He's he the worst robber care. ever. Flip it for two bands and catch a case. And he, he, could, he never he could, coming he out. Couldn't flip it. He couldn't flip it for nothing else. I mean, it was probably worth thirty, like probably ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars. But he couldn't get much out of it because. Not only is it stolen, but everyone knows that that's on us. So watch that. Pot Smoke was wearing. You robbed him for it, and now he's dead. So well, you I did. You risked all that for two bands? Two bands. And now you locked up forever? And then they're going to get two bands in your ass in jail. <laughs> they go They go hard about Pop Smoke. Yeah. They, and they find out who it is. And they said his cellmate snitched on him. He was wired up. 
It says Selma. So I guess he, he ran into a 60 Day In member. I guess the dude that was recording a TV show. That's a hilarious show. <laughs> 60 Days In? Yeah, 60 Days In. Yeah, dude was show. in there like, yeah, what you in here for? Shit. Shot, pop, smoke. I bet it, what show was that they on? They do that? What show was that on? Huh? What, that, uh, that? I think it was on AMC. A AMC, confession uh, like that would hold in court? Bro, if they said that in well, AMC. If if you confess in a cell, that holds up in court? No, I mean, they already got him. Oh, got you just saying just in general? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. But uh, that'd be wild. AM, you, you have to, they have to be recorded, though. No, I understand. Yeah, they, he was wired up. But that'd be then, crazy. Oh, that's wild. I didn't think that would be admissible. If I was a TV producer, I'd be like, we got him. <laughs> Ratings going up. You commit. <laughs> Get it. Keep them wired. You're gonna I be said, in there another like, that's, that's a hilarious show. I think the yeah. initial like when the news first dropped, I was like, "This is a lesson, um, especially for like people of his caliber, to stop posting your fucking locations, to be more covert." Mm. And most people and rappers, I think now only post about some shit like after they left it. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, especially when you talk about how much money you have and or how much change you carry on you. Cause then people are incentivized to come get it from you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, Brad Pitt's not really gonna have to do that as much because you might think Brad Pitt has something on him, but he doesn't guarantee you in every song he drops that he's going to have chains on him. So Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt drops yeah. songs. You know what I'm saying? Brad Pitt doesn't give you the vibe that he has a hundred thousand on him at all times. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's not as saying, high yeah. of a lucrative opportunity to rob Brad Pitt. Yeah. But if you rob a rapper who tells you all the time how much he has a 50, 50 on a watch, 1,000 on, like, this. Brad Pitt is probably not gangbanging and has any ops either. So that's, that's one thing. Too. But he was in L.A. in this specific I say, I don't, situation. Yeah, I, don't, I think, yeah, this was not, like, somewhere in his own area. He was I'm, somewhere else, and they just robbed him. He was in Hollywood I, Hills. I, ops are not just in one place. You got everywhere. You, you don't know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a rapper I mean, is more high state. Because you, you you could be beefing with somebody or beefing with somebody and somebody else would set you up. I don't that. I don't think I don't think you I lost think it was somebody. a setup though. Somebody Man, somebody I, did. I don't but I don't think I don't it think wasn't, it I wasn't think private it was information. He if you're in Hollywood Hills and you post like the home, there's like five houses that you could be renting there. <laughs> like it's not a lot of options. I've 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 went through on Airbnb before. There's not many said, options on Hollywood. I thought Hills. they said they, they he shot him when he was in a shower or something. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. what's the coincidence? The party's over. He's getting ready. He's in the shower when they come in. Right then. I see what you're saying, though, John. I, see what you're I saying. mean, you could just wait it out, see when people leave. Also, um, so I don't know. I can't speak for all the Airbnbs, but they have pretty strict no party rules in the Hollywood Hills Airbnbs. So I know he he's, racked up. He's a rapper. Yeah, he racked up a whole. His Airbnb account is about to be suspended because yeah. they don't play with that shit. We yeah. had two extra guests at our Airbnb, and the guy found out and charged us. No okay. cap. Two extra guests. That's how seriously they take it. Wait, what happened? The, who's the guy? When the guy, the who, guy who owns the, it, who owned the home, he found out. I don't know how. I don't know if he had cameras now or something. We had two guests, and then charged us an extra guest fee for those two guests. So if you throw a whole party, I can only imagine that would cost you thousands of dollars. But I guess Pop Smoke not gonna give a fuck about that. And if you're throwing a party, you're kind of giving people your location anyway. Throwing a party in the place that you're staying at is kind of crazy. That so sucks. That sucks to hear. I saw um, our, like his, I think, I believe it was his mom who said something like, it sucks because it was the people that killed him were the people that he made music for. Yeah. I'm like, that's, that's wild. What's your, what's your takeaway, John? And I don't give a fuck that he's a minor. Um, he needs to get maximum time. What's your, what's your, what's your, uh, what's your thoughts, John? Um, we need a liberal one. We need somebody a little bit more extreme to the left. Uh, you, Wait, so what? What are you? What are you asking me? I'm moderate. What, 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 what are you? What are, no, you're not. Come on, bro. I'm absolutely. Just victim blame for the first like 20 minutes, and then you just said, "Give uh, that nigga the death." I penalty. just said, "What lesson could be learned?" You're joking. Dog. Calm down, dog. Whoa, whoa. So you want him? You want to have life in prison, or it should be? But I don't know what the maximum is for what he got charged for, but he needs to catch that. What if it was life? That's all. So he, he deserves life. Death penalty. You're fif- at 15. At 15, I, you think he yo, deserved life. I don't like that. In, there, we, there we go, John. I don't like that in Western society. We like to pretend like we don't know how to wipe our ass till we're 18. Bro, at 15, I knew not to rob a person and walk in someone's home and kill him. I but knew you not know, to do you that. May, he may be around the wrong influence of just being his head's not wrong. He's still immature. Obviously, he's around the wrong influence. You're not around the right influence and right. bump into that so shit. So you, he makes a wrong decision. You, you don't think... Uh, of course that's a wrong decision 25, 25 years So he still has a chance To change his life around And come out And be a better Samaritan he killed somebody 
huh? to rob a watch and he flipped it for two bands. So what about people in a car accidents when they kill people or accidental deaths? If you're said, dr- if, he just said accidentally. If you're drinking and driving, then that's a crime too. That's an intentional decision. You drank. And then you probably list, you ignore the five people I told you not to fucking drive. What about the people that kill us with these foods and, and pesticides that and stuff? That needs to be a crime, too. But it's Why not. Why do you think I'm going so hard on Kellogg's, bro? Kellogg's got done convincing the nation that it was just this fucking food pyramid that made everyone obese. They lied to us about how unhealthy fats were, and they're healthy fats, bro. They lied to us for four so decades. So you feel like if... if so that needs life, to be a crime. It needs, needs to match that, though. So if you kill somebody you can, on purpose, you deserve life. But if you kill somebody by accident... Or even if it's not your fault, but you're the cause of it. It may not be on perfect. It may not be maliciously, but you killed them. You get fifty years. What are you saying? Because yeah. if you, if you, I, I, I agree. Because with you. you're saying he's saying he killed somebody. Thing. He killed somebody, so he deserves life. But if you accidentally kill somebody, no, 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 drink, no, 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 we're no, no, drinking no, no, no. and driving. I didn't, I didn't say he deserves life. I said he deserves whatever the maximum thing is for what he. So got he charged. don't deserve life. Whatever what is it maximum? is. What did he get he charged for, bro? No, I'm just asking. The maximum fifty I'm trying to be the liberal. I'm trying to be the extremist. So he does he deserve life or not? Yes or no? John, what did he get charged for? Oh, we don't know. He deserves Murder. a maximum sentence for that charge. But I'm saying, if they said life, would that be reasonable? Of course it would. If that is a maximum sentence for that charge, then he deserves I, it. I, I agree. If you if you if you drinking and driving and you kill someone, I think you should just go to jail. I, I don't like because you're we're we're at a point in our society where it's like, hey, not only you of age. But drinking and driving, it's on you, but it's not as it's not as intentionally bad as murdering somebody. Yes, it is. I think it is. Huh? I yes, think it, it is. Because he didn't he didn't go into the house thinking he was going to kill, but he killed, right? You don't drink and drive thinking you're going to kill, but sometimes you do. So it doesn't mean that just because the worst outcome came from your bad decision that you should be resolved of, like, your responsibility in the situation. You cannot I mean, tie a screw the tightest it needs to be and then call the table to fall and amputate somebody's legs. And then you get sued for that. But you don't go to jail for life. Some people you could do. lose a million dollars. So some people do go to jail, especially if they can't pay the um, settlement. And then, and then, and then the, the company might have to do a recall because their shit is not safe. Did you know that Peloton, that bike company? Yeah. Um, their bikes, like, it's it's a hazard for little kids, and there was something that little kids were doing and getting hurt, and they recalled all their shit. They were like, like I don't know how much the amount of little kids I got hurt were, and they're like, guys, if you have a Peloton, you have little kids, you have babies in your house, so it's like everybody has some form of responsibility in the situation. Like, car manufacturers have a responsibility to make the car safer. You as a driver have a responsibility to pay attention and not be drunk. Every, as a society, we all have a responsibility to not make the dumbest decision possible. So when you run, run in someone's house trying to rob him in the Hollywood Hills, first of all, have you been to Hollywood Hills? You know how hard it is to escape? It's like one road, bro, and you have to wait for cars to come up. It's a one-way. The whole road is a one-way, and it's tight as fuck. Just trying to make an escape, you need, like, a goddamn helicopter. So right. it's just not it even a planned. convenient location to rob somebody. It had to be planned or inside job. 100%. I, I, I see what you're saying more and more. The answer to the question, though, yes. I think if you if you drink and drive, I don't have – I just don't have sympathy for people who, who drink and drive because it's like – My my thing is I'll just be in the like, – I know. I, see, I, know I, see, I know what you're saying. I'm just, I just wanted you to answer the hard question. Mm. If, if, it's, if, if, if you kill somebody on purpose, like you said, drink, drunk and driving or robber and you kill them, even if that's the case, life, you kill somebody by accident – not your fault, but you killed him, so you should get fifty years. You still come out, but I mean, you might not. You might not, but you, it's a chance. It's not life, though. Uh-huh. But it wasn't on purpose, so you don't deserve to be there forever. But uh-huh. you killed somebody, so you deserve time, right? I don't think the intention is as relevant as you think. I think that if your bad decision could have led to some shit, and it's and that's obvious, like if it's not, like for example, it's just a yes or no. No, it's not. It's a. It's. Do you agree with that? That's the liberal part. Oh, whatever the maximum sentence is, because that all of what he did was lot robbing a house, pulling up with a gun, and shooting is all deliberate. Um, that's not. What about none, you, Lo? None of that is an accident. Um, <clears throat> I like I said, I agree that um, if you drinking and driving, like I don't, I just, I, I don't think that's an accident. If you drink and drive and you get into a car accident, I still don't think that's an accident. I think that you, you purposefully impairing yourself and then getting behind a car. It's, that's just that's so or just reckless. get a Tesla, bro. They're so affordable. Or just get an Uber. You can get a Tesla and it'll drive for you. Or get a friend. Or Friends. get an Uber. Get a friend. Get a taxi. Or just don't go out and drink. Or just like, there's so there's so many options that led up to that. And save yeah, money. you can you save drink, money. Drink at home. There's so many options that led to that final decision that that is now putting like Everyone. potentially hundreds of people on the road <laughs> at risk. There was a guy I was behind a couple days ago. 
just swerving straight like this. Yeah. All through traffic. There was a guy a week ago. This happened all in the same week. Uh, I was driving. I went to the gas station to get a protein bar. and It was late as fuck because my sleep schedule was flipped. The guy was driving straight. He did it like a hard right turn into the curb. Like his Nissan Sentra just smashed into the curb. Mm. And I immediately stopped my car because it's empty. There's nothing here. I'm like, anybody doing that is either drunk or looking for problems. Yeah. And either way, I do not want to be near him. So then he eventually got off the curve and, like, swung into, like, um, there was, like, a apartment section to the right. Mm-hmm. So I think he just didn't know and just ran into it. I think he was lit. And I was like, that's fucking wild that that right there exists. And then I get tickets for going four over, but he's going to go f- home perfectly fine. There's been NBA players that have drank and drive, and they got away with it. It's, like, it's not taken as seriously as it should be, in my opinion. I think it's sad because I've been in cars with people who were like high. I literally I left a car show a month ago. She, lady was smoking while she was driving, and there were police everywhere. She didn't care. Nobody like most people don't care. But most, they're not drinking and driving. But you're still impaired. No, no, no. Though. She's, she's high though. High is not as bad as drinking. You're still um, impaired. But you're, you're, still still impaired. impaired. you're still impaired. You're still impaired. If you drive sleepy, you're impaired. So you shouldn't I drive don't think, I don't think people should drive sleepy. Me too. Literally, so, literally when I was coming back Wolf from- Wolf, you're too full. You're impaired. <laughs> Nigga said you caught the itis behind the wheel. <laughs> you're too poor. Nigga <laughs> <laughs> said you caught the itis behind the wheel. Like you, you go to Popeye's and you can't go back home? Yeah, you just eat. And <laughs> I, mean, just... I mean, seriously, I, I have, I have, I've been sleepy, pulled over, and just went to sleep, took a nap, and then got right back on the road. Yeah, I always just pull up at a gas station if I get tired. I don't even like going drives when I think I could potentially get tired. Yep. You know what the secret is to to this is crazy. Um, when I first my first ride, uh, I I got my new Honda Accord. I was so happy, man. Mm -hmm. But I didn't really know how to drive all that well yet. I purchased it in Toronto. I was driving back down to Niagara because I was going to school. Had to finish up my third year. I had a two hour drive, tired as shit, in a new car, and I'm a new driver. So I was like stumbling my way down the 401 trying to make it to my university. Mm -hmm. And I got so tired. I was trying to like force myself awake. Now I like I have tactics to stay awake. Like I know how to do the 104 to 401. Or they call it the QEW transitions. The Queen Elizabeth way. You don't know about that. Long long story short, though. I I mean, I I still agree. Like you're 15 is old enough, even if you're around the wrong influence to know. Not to kill. What's 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 wrong? What's not wrong? Um, and everyone is on at that at that stage in life. It doesn't matter. I'm saying like I'm saying like I'm not saying what he did is right. Of course not. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying of course. I, I, know, if, I know what you're saying. I can see I can see if you're 15, you kill 10 people, four people, you you, you crazy, you go on mass murder spree. But you came in there with that tent to rob. You got scared, and if he didn't shoot, he probably been dead. Cause Pop was gonna shoot. So it was like. A life or death decision, like in that situation. But, but you, but, but you putting yourself in that scenario. But for something that still, was that was well, he didn't go in there for murder. It wasn't like he went. I'm not saying for, I'm not saying he did, but even putting yourself in that scenario because you're just, you're going in there so you're for, just saying to, that to, for robbery. Is, so robbery. It, I, if you told a gun, you you, all, you you just you're old enough to be a man. You know what I'm saying? You told a gun, but my I'm just saying that too actually yeah you, that, that you told the gun and using it and yeah you, you know right, what I'm saying yeah, you that's, should that's be a, old enough that's another great way of looking nigga. if you old, if you old enough to run around with a gun you, and and making those decisions in life nigga you a, you a man bro that, at that point I don't give for how old you are if that's what you doing I'm just I'm just saying it's, it it definitely needs time served more than 15 20 years no bro but I'm I'm I feel like at the, at that time, twenty years in that jail, they should make jail as a reform to better people. That's, a, that's put, another thing. Unfortunately, that's not what they jail just is. put people in and just I, leave them there, I, and it get worse. You know, it's funny. There's some countries where it's actually like a better living condition to be in jail than to be. There's certain states like that too. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. What states but, are like that? Florida's like that. Certain parts of Florida is like that. Or it's better to be in jail. It's better to be in jail than this. There's people about- who are homeless or in the brink of being homeless, and they would they just do things to get to put themselves in jail. So, oh wow. But yeah, like when you go to jail, it's not they don't really reform. They don't really try to better you. You got small people in there, but it just get becomes more violent. So you end up just dying in there basically. Even if you got life, you don't end up dying yeah, most of the time. Yeah, but as long as you because your country spent the better part of a century trying to monetize prison. So Yeah. That's why it's, prison should not be a thing you make money from. It should be a thing ran by the government. That's why they reform. just want people in there. So when you're just throwing life away, that means that nigga's in there. That means they got to continue to fund up the prison system cuz he got life sentence. So they're gonna have to keep giving the money because you got people that were life sentence. So you could never stop giving the money. It's a deploy. 
No, I, I 100% agree with you. I think it's a shame that, like... You heard what you just said. What do you say? You said it's a decoy. I don't know what that means. said it was a decoy. No, it's a deploy. Like, they're doing that, like, to fund money. Like, it's a, like they deploy it. You know what I'm saying? Wait, what? We know what Bro, he stop means. asking me so many questions. Just we, go with we it. We know man. what he means. <laughs> but yeah, you know what I, I, mean. I agree with you. It should be a system to reform. Unfortunately, that's probably not how it works. Um, I've never been in there, so I can't tell you firsthand experience. I've only ever watched videos of people who have. Because it seemed like a horrible place to be. No cap. How do people de- and how do people determine life sentences? Because there's a lot of murder cases that get don't always get life. You know what hey, I'm saying? To be honest, depend. Honestly, some states the jury decides that they just get tried, and then the jury's the one who determines if. If he's guilty or not on that on that, but term. how do you determine it, it shouldn't? Yeah, be, but the judge determines sentencing. Yeah, but it's like so. Say so. Say I did. So the jury say decides if they're convicted, like if they committed the crime, if they believe beyond a reasonable doubt that they did it. But then you come back later for the judge to give you sentencing. Then they decide the severity of it and whether or not you get parole and all that bullshit. But yeah, but I'm saying like, say for the example, a 15 year boy went in there, he gets life. Say somebody just killed somebody because they think they're trespassing, but they weren't, or they did something. All right. Okay, look. Okay, there was a kid that did a wrestling move on somebody and killed him. And a situation like that, you could argue he was under the heavy heavy influence of Rob Van Dam. You know what I'm saying? Who? And <laughs> he was under the heavy influence of. But uh, that's what is that? Sean Michaels. That's got, that got to be scary as a kid. You do a wrestling isn't move that, and they don't get up. First, but isn't that just first degree? I mean, I don't know what it was. Or Dave Chappelle brought it up in his uh, special, but it was a but good it's point. Still where it's a like death. that's that's truly accidental. Where like it's a death though. It could have been prevented. One hundred percent. But there's like he didn't intentionally go in there knowing he was gonna risk that. He didn't go like, in there you, intentionally knowing he's gonna kill. He just came to take a watch. Do. That's why you bring a gun because you think there might be death there. But you him. think there might be death for you too. No, so he came seven. in there to take. No, no, he, but here's the he, he, in you think specific about it. circumstance, the person robbing Pop Smoke. Decided for everybody that death was imminent. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a decision he made not, for the people in the house. Not really. People that were in the party. The lady that was there with him. Whoever was in the fucking room, he made that decision for all of them that death was imminent. Sometimes people just bring it just for show. They just bring it just to... So you don't yeah, move your thing. All up. robbers bring it for show. You're not yeah. supposed to actually shoot nobody. <laughs> then now you're, now you're in a whole nother tier of, like, problems. So what, the, he, what he's probably going to get hit with is second degree because... Second degree is just that it's, it's like um, premeditation. And what you're talking about, the child is third degree. How it's many just, degrees are there? He's probably already hit with it. He's just, we don't no, know. No, I'm just saying that's a distinction where the second degree is you, first degree is like you went in there knowing you're going to kill. What's second the, degree what the little is little kids you, say? Not like, you might be able to argue first. Huh? You might be able to argue first. Second know. to second degree. LA is, is not even a state where you could just carry neither. But second so degree, you shouldn't need, there's not even a reasonable. You could argue in Atlanta. No, I just had my gun on me, so I used it. You can't just have your gun on you walking around in LA. If I'm not mistaken, though, no, second degree is specifically in a situation where you put people's life, you do something reckless to put people's life in danger, and but you still accidentally just kill them. Like oh, yeah. it's not That's something probably what it is. Then. But <clears throat> third 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 degree is like you just unintentionally kill someone. And but but, but and there's Dan. still but there's still some sense of recklessness. So but first you degree just is the worst. Your first degree is is, is you get premeditated. Six degree, six degree murder. No, it's just, it's just three. It's um pre, it's premeditated. You went in there knowing that's what you're going to do. That's what first degree murder is. Okay. Yeah. So he's not getting first. He's long long story short, <clears throat> um, he might not get first much degree is anything, always really. pretty he much might, life. Ain't honestly, yeah, he, he honestly he, might not get much of anything. But long story short, I just feel like at that age. You're old enough. I think we were all old enough, and I don't think there's any rhyme or reason to make any excuses for somebody having that type of behavior. Because at the end of the day, I mean, he knew what he was doing was wrong from the from the jump. And we can go back and forth and discuss why th- th- it is the way it is. I'm, I'm just, pretty sure there's channels that we should be able to focus on to make sure 15 year olds don't put themselves in those situations. But at the end of the day, I mean, I mean, he he did that. Knowing that 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 was a possibility, that's the reason why he brought it done. He knew, he knew that that could be a possibility, um, outcome. And I'm not going to blame anybody else for that. That's just what that's the decision that he made that day. Um, mm. yeah, it, is, it is wildly unfortunate. That's a, that's actually a problem in Toronto too. And RP pop, pop smoke, hundred yeah. percent. It's a problem in Toronto where all the rappers that like start to come up just get shot and gunned down. Very sad. Very sad. It's crazy. When you think about like back in the day. Like small stuff people get away with now, like like just small crimes and stuff that people don't really care about. It's not as bad as murder and stuff like that, or like assault. 
but it used to be deadly punishment for that. Like, you know, yeah. you used to cut your hands off for stealing. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, or even now, like, just possessing. You still, you know, like, get... drugs. Like, that shouldn't be jail time. Like, that should be 100% reform. Uh, I, 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 it depends on certain drugs. It, depend, no. and it, I say, like, it, depends, like it depends on the amount. Like it depends a, on the amount. Because no like certain drugs or something, bro. If it's like, if it's like a psychedelic or something or, that's not gonna kill you. Yes, like meth and all that well, crazy stuff. Psychedelics can kill you. That's but like, death is coming. Death I is think, near. I think, it's, it's, I think more so I do with the amount. You're gonna die if soon. You, if you have a certain, if yeah, you have a certain amount, if you have a certain amount where it's clear that you're about to start distributing that shit. Then I think that's way more of an indication of like you just don't give a fuck. You just out here for the money. So distributing, you deserve de- jail time for illegal distribution. I, I feel like okay, I can see that. Like some hard ass drugs, like nigga, you don't give a fuck, bro. I can see a couple, but but how many? How well? I mean, that's how it is right now. If you if you have, but a that's the crazy amount, thing about it. You can't be too light because most time they gonna go back and keep doing it. So they just no, keep you can't. But, they, but that's how it is right now. If you have a certain amount, it, it leads into a federal offense. So it just depending on how how much you have, it actually turns into a federal offense. Uh, but like that's that's so crazy that like they filled the the jails with people that have committed like nonviolent crimes. Oh yeah, pe- not that people all just... nonviolent crimes are fine. I actually think like those white collar crimes need to be punished way more. There's no reason why bankers should be the reason why like millions of people lose their homes and all their life savings, yeah. and then they just get out scot free with bonuses. Like the fact that they're not punished is wild to me, and the fact that people don't see that as worse. Or at the same level, they do. actual violent crimes. They do, but if the money, money gonna protect money. You know what I'm saying? Yo, the podcast people, it's the one and only legend of winning, aka Low, and this part of the podcast is brought to you by today's sponsors, Manscaped. Good old Manscapes down there, man. They always have us covered because you know it's getting summertime, getting a little nice and hot. You know what happens when you get hot out there. Yeah. Likes just stinky know. down there if you don't really clean up. Make sure you take care of yourself with the best men's grooming kit alive. That's the perfect package 3.0. First things first, headliner, lawnmower 3.0, wireless, cordless, waterproof, butt, back, and balls. Get everything you need, mm. trim everything up, mm. and because of the technology, don't nick you. Second thing, crop preserver. Anti-chafing deodorant down there. You put it down there. Not only are you going to be feeling nice and smooth, but when you're moving around, you ain't going to be chafing down there. Last thing they added to the Perfect Package 3.0, Crop Reviver. What? <laughs> Once you get everything nice and trimmed up, nice and anti-chafed, you're going to put you some uh, Crop Reviver down there, bring it back to life, and got you smelling real nice and Damn I can put in my man. butt and balls. Oh man, you can smell it. You can smell it. Smell like a bunch of manly roses down there. <laughs> Amazing. And what's even crazier, you know, Manscape always got your back. They can give you two free gifts on top of all of that. They'll get you the anti-chafing boxer briefs. Got me on a pair right now. Swear, don't chafe. I just don't chafe when I have them on. Got them on right now. Right, right now. now. Uh, right now. You want- nah. Okay. All right now. I can't. Nah, like, nah, like you did some like like leg shakes. It wouldn't chafe? Yeah, they don't they actually legit don't chafe. Same Let's thing. See no, you gotta stand up and do it. Why do you want him to shake his legs? No, like the like you go, you know you do static. All right, John. And the second free gift they give you is the travel bag itself. Nice material on the go. When we went to Miami, I brought it with me. Didn't lose nothing. <laughs> So, if any of that sounds good to you, man, make sure you go to manscaped.com. Use our promo code PTP20 to get 20% off and free shipping. Again, that is PTP20, get 20% off free shipping. Thanks again to Manscaped for sponsoring this part of the podcast. If you if you I, up there, you're not I worried guess, about it. I, I agree. I think, oh. I think if you ask the average person what's worse, like committing... Um, like creating a murder or or um, doing drugs, I bet you both of those would be viewed as worse offenses than actually like committing a high high amount of fraud. Look, look, if like I, a ridiculous. If I had a gun and I shot you in your ankle right now, <coughs> people would be like, "What the fuck? That's such a crazy thing to do, shoot you in your ankle." But if a nigga, but just, then if you compare <laughs> me to the guy selling those uh, mortgage backed securities in two thousand eight, those subprime mortgage like those lenders that just were given to anybody <coughs> and everybody, regardless of whether or not they qualified. Who's worse? Hmm. In this situation, like, you know, do some rehab, bro. Your ankle's going to be fucking fine. And this other situation, like... It may not be, though. 
My nerves may not work the same. Like you could, you may not be a hoop. You literally not walk walking for the rest of your life still isn't worse than the shit that this nigga is doing to hundreds of thousands of families. It's not. It's still. I was I was talking to someone who dealt in mortgages, and he told me that his bought like there was a time where somebody didn't qualify for a loan. He told him, "Nah, like we can't provide you with this loan. You don't meet the qualifications." And his boss literally told him, "Like why'd you do that? Give him the loan. Why don't you give him the loan?" Because they actually make money from people defaulting on their loan. Yep. Like Lupe, in, that's why I like Lupe, because he talk about weird shit like this in rap. And his song, Words I Never Said, he had he, there was a line like that where he talked about banks love giving out loans to people that can't afford it so they can repossess the house. And now they're making even more money. The first 15 years you spend on a 30-year mortgage is largely interest you're paying on the loan. They front-end the interest. So the equity you get when you paying down your house is on the last 15 years, largely speaking. Yeah. So they make money by giving you a house and in under 15 years repossessing it because you couldn't afford it. So it's like, that's malicious. But there's this car, there's used car dealers who are doing it right now too. Be on, be on lookout for that. Anybody else who's like trying to get a, um, a used car or just like, you know, it's like, you don't, you don't think you're going to qualify. There's plenty of places right now who are saying like, oh yeah, come by. You know what? You ain't doing no credit check. Matter of fact, you don't even have to have a job. I don't want to know your pay stuff, though. I don't even see that pay stuff. Don't bring but you, it you say you're looking for someone by 5000 I got a Hellcat for you. I can put you in two days. Exactly. <laughs> I can they'll, put you they'll, in they'll, they'll dead ass say, just give me a down payment. Give me a down payment. <laughs> How much you got on you right now? $5,000? i will put you in this Ferrari right now. <laughs> Interest-free for the first two days. There's, there's literally a nigga who's saying right now, he's like, down payment and a Georgia license. That's it. And then when you call him, he'll be like, yeah, you can down payment, Georgia license, and just give me a piece of mail. Give me peace. Peace. Give me some mail, real like quick. it's like a phone bill or something. <laughs> yeah, no, he just wants the mail. So Give me like, your Vonage. He, yeah, he just he want to know the mail. He's like, so I can just verify where you live. If I need to go take that car right back, so go, give me your mail real quick. Yeah. And that's what that's all you do. And he's gonna sit there. You are gonna think you can keep up with it, but then reality set it and like, yep. oh shit, I can't make payments. Shit. And then four months, and they're gonna take you. Gonna have four months of payment, and they're gonna take your car. You gonna take the car right back and resell it. And resell the and tell same somebody else. Car. I seen you in this. I see- and you know what's so crazy? The <laughs> nigga that does this in Atlanta, because I seen it. This nigga, he's he's not even selling like regular cars. This is the same nigga I told you. Like you niggas telling niggas to put like damn near half of the amount of a car on a down payment. Niggas selling BMW X series. Niggas selling Teslas. Niggas selling Hellcats. Like nigga, niggas selling Mercedes. And they be they be very convincing. Hey brother, what you came here for? A car- nah. I've I never, see I've you never in this seen Mercedes. A, I've never seen this nigga post a Corolla, like no regular nah, car. I've never nah, seen him do nah. it. Nah, we ain't regular dealership, my boy. We're not a regular dealership. <laughs> I can get you in it today, right now. Hop in. Turn Matter of fact, I'm going to put this nigga on black. Crank this nigga it up. Man. Feel how cold the AC uh, is. Oh, uh, let me tell you. Let me, put, let me put this nigga on black. Americans literally can't afford to live. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Like, they you, could, they, you actually struggle to buy a phone outright because phone companies are so used to people like getting... Like uh, getting a credit approved, yeah, getting a loan for that's, that's such a thousand dollar. That is that is that. I don't know why people make that a common thing, but this is the first time I've ever like paid down on the phone, and I'm basically done with it. All my other phones, I've just yeah, paid out full. I always pay out right. I don't like the two year plans and shit. I don't like that shit. Yeah, but, but I don't. I don't understand it's why not just that's that a now. common Do, thing. I don't though. know if you've been paying attention. It's like furniture is all like yes, that. that's weird. Almost everything is like you don't even have to pay for it right now. Just add debt. It's gonna be fine, man. Pay for the shit later. We literally, we literally just bought a um a couch set, and this is like at at a discount place too. It's not even like a regular like place. And even they were saying, no, you ain't gotta put no money down. You ain't gotta you ain't gotta pay for it. Just well, let me get your information over here. I'm going. I'm like, nigga, what? On a couch, bro? Yeah, on a couch. I'm like, nigga, this couch is a discounted couch. It's not even two thousand dollars. He's like, nah, come on, come over here, come over here. So then. I paused and thought about it for a second, and he told me all the things I had to like give my information for. I'm like, nigga, I'll just pay for it. Here's here's my here's my debit card. He's like, you sure, man? You ain't got to you ain't got to pay all right now. You know, I'm pretty sure y'all got a couple other more things to buy. Y'all y'all in a new house, right? I was like, I, this is the reason why I'm sorry, baby. I got to put you on blast. This is the reason why I don't like going nowhere where I to make big purchases with my girlfriend. No cap. And and no yo yo and and on top of that. I did the same thing with my mom too when we went to go buy a car. There's just certain people like you just fuck up the negotiation. So now this nigga sitting there saying, like, yo, man, yo, y'all just moving the house, right? So y'all know you're gonna need this stuff. I'm like, nigga, why does he need to why did he need to know that? So now he's trying to leverage us in a new house and Martin like pushes to something else. I'm like, nigga, shut the fuck up and here, here's a card. 
So I went to go get a um I went I was about, I was just close to getting a Highlander. I was about trying to put pressure on him, right? And I'm sitting there about to walk out the door, you know, do the whole fake routine, like, ah nah. It seemed like we're just not in the right pay. I'm about to walk right out. And we're almost at the car. The dude comes running out of the dealership. He's like, oh no, 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 no. Marcel, come come back in, Mr. Marcel. Come on back in. So I'm still I'm still playing hardball. He ain't call you low? No. <laughs> I'm still playing hardball. And I tell Tia to just sit in the car and I'll be right back. Because I know they're also, if we leave, they're gonna call me too. They're gonna call me, which eventually did. We go back, I go back in. And I'm telling her to stay in the car. We're talking for a second. And behind me, one of the sales associates come out. And he goes, get gets her and come back in. I'm like, I told you to stay in the car. Like, don't come back in here because they're going to think that, you know, we they trying to draw us in. So as I see them walking back, I'm like, oh, my God, I can't even play hardball right now because you're walking back in and falling for this bullshit. So I had to go back out there. We had to walk out. They're literally walking behind me saying, Oh wait! Don't go like all that shit. And as soon as she sees her coming back in, all of a sudden I can just feel it switch, and I'm like, I gotta go now because they feel like they're getting closer to this shit, and now now I don't have any more leverage in this conversation. It was tough. So so who and then who, well, and then so whose fault was that? Who fought with like, who then, fought it up? And then and then and then what's even crazy is what? I then after that then we went to go get the um furniture wow. and did the same thing happen. I'm like he didn't he doesn't need to know the information. And who did that? Who fought y'all up? niggas? Y'all niggas? Who cost you more money? <laughs> <laughs> who fumbled? Who fumbled the uh, the uh, what's it called on the one yard line, John? Actually, the the the, um, the couch thing wasn't that big of a deal because. It was the same. Who price pulled a Russell yeah. Wilson? It was. It was the same price. It was just that That's we were a, we were uh, close to doing um financing. I was like, "There's no need for finance. I'll just pay for cash. It's not that big of a deal." But the car thing. Yeah. And as we left, they called me like two or three times. I was like, "Man, now they're not even going to budge on the price," yeah. which is something too At that I'm starting to become more often. They don't really budge on the price as much as they used to. Because they don't have as good margins. Yeah. The dealership industry's been hit hard by the Rona. Yep. Yep. But I know they can budge though. I know they can budge. You can get them to budge like a few thousand. True. Yeah, for sure. For maximum. Sure. Maximum. If you, if, if you get them to judge budge more than a few thousand, it depends what dealership you're at. Oh, I just wanted to go down three thousand. That's it. But he was like, "Now you know." And we was on the phone. He was like, "No, I can't go down no more." I was like, "All right, cool." And I just hung up on him, and then I ain't never heard him again. Yeah, that means mm-hmm. that he probably reached. Uh, he either had another client, or that was actually as far as he can go. <laughs> One of the two. So who fought? Does this all rain down on? You just ha- you just kept smiling. I didn't. We didn't have an answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who fought? Is this? Me, trying to get me in trouble. Anyway, no. the place the place is called Second no, get Chance. You in trouble. Second Chance Auto. Not the man of the house. BMWs, Teslas, Mercedes. <laughs> Guess what? They even got they even got a your old Maserati over there too. Mm, the Ghibli. Oh, the SUV truck. Oh, Levante. Niggas oh. really going broke. Levante. Yeah. <laughs> And this is like this is like just niggas just in a he's in a, just in a, in a parking lot just with a whole bunch of foreign cars, just telling niggas that. So he was the person that was like holding you back from the deals. That was him. No, this is the nigga who was telling people who was the person just bring the deals? bring bring your mail, just bring your mail in a down payment, and we'll get you in any car you want. You know that should be illegal. That should be illegal. That should be illegal. I need to like, prosecute people on these. Like just whatever. niggas, niggas, niggas telling you like, ah, uh, this Levante, just put about uh eighteen thousand dollars down on it. Give me a mail and uh, we'll do it. Matter of fact, that's crazy. So watch out to all my all my youngins out there. Don't get, get twenty thousand every four months. <laughs> Give it to them. Take it back. <laughs> Give it to them. Take it back. On a on a on a twenty on the twenty fourteen Mercedes Benz E E class. Um, 70,000 miles. You said Georgia license, down payment. $8,000, you can walk it right off the uh, 8000 down payment, pull it off the lot. No check stubs needed. $8,000. No check stubs. For a down payment. That got to be crazy. You get your car repo or someone see it before you. Like you put like a sticker on it or something special. They didn't, yeah. they didn't clean the car yet. They just sit it for the dealership. And you, and you know that nigga's going to give you about like 12% interest rate. That boy said, yo, Dean, I just seen your will. At VIP cards. You know like, what you mean? You see my rope. 
Actually, VIP cars are straight. That's actually what, that's actually a legit place. Actually, what if you straight. told, what if you uh left your garage open? What if your girl left your gr- the garage open bro, and I they saw your plaid? You pull, pull up to the dealership with me, bro. How can you ain't take me? I would never throw your deals like that person that was in the yeah, car I'm with you. Yeah. I'm literally waiting. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah, throw your deals yeah, either. Yeah, this nigga is. Right. I'll never throw your deal. If like, I knew what you coming there for, I'm gonna help you. Yeah, you said stay in the car, stay less. Yeah, <laughs> I got the Uno in the whip. You know what I'm saying? Dang, that must mean your word don't hold weight. <laughs> That's what it sound like to me. Sound like it no, no way. My boy said, sit in the car. She said, who? <laughs> <laughs> I can't fuck up the deal. Go ahead. Oh, my hey, God. She, she didn't want you in the Heartland. Got in the car. You was mad. You had to think about two videos. My boy said, what am I do? <laughs> and that was now you know <laughs> something. That was the only that was the only 2018 Highlander I found that was under 25,000. <laughs> There's no way, bro. It was. <laughs> What? Oh, she really messed up then. Hey, Lo, I'm sorry for messing up your deal. I took a little bit out your savings and donated a hundred thousand to Dogecoin just to make it up. <laughs> oh, Doge, I love you, babe. Dogecoin at right now? Down. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas is dumb. <laughs> Yo, y'all thought y'all thought he was gonna go on SNL. Y'all thought um. Hey, Lo, 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 Lo. Watch what you say, cause I'm one of them niggas. I thought you he was dumb, going. nigga. That's hey, you didn't know how to read patterns. The last yeah. two really hype days, it plummeted. Yeah, you know it did. It went up the day before too, like to like seventy five, and yes, I should have took went, out. There. It went crazy, and you should have pulled out seventy five. Pull, Every really hype day, the smart investors want to catch the casuals who think like this is gonna be the moment. Yeah, and they'll pull out, and then the fucking casuals are the ones sitting with the money. However, I will say this: I y'all, pulled out y'all, at ca- y'all casuals do allow it to be a a different, a, another like a new standard for where it's gonna stay at. Because right now it's still hovering around fifty to fifty five cents. Yeah, that's what I bought it at. So though. When we went to Miami, it was hovering around like twenty five cents. Uh-huh. So literally within like a little over a month's time, it done doubled. The new standard done doubled. So y'all casuals are keeping it from like plummeting back to where it used to be, but they, it's done it twice now. Because I I remember I told, I but it hurt me ever since. Like it we, never went that there. When we were in Miami, I told Sneeko because he had it in, and I said it was going to pull up to forty cents, and it's going to pull out because that's what it was. Allegedly, going to say they're running. That's what they allegedly has been holding. So yeah, but I told, but I, t- I just told this nigga like when they pull at forty, pull it out and then put it right back in. Oh man! And then do he was like, Nah, nah, I ain't gonna do it. And it plummeted back to like seventeen cents after it hit forty. Yeah, my ass was happy. I told my mom, I said we're gonna be straight. I put a little bit in Doge. I, know Doge I said Elon Musk go out there. Did right, right after he went out there. She y'all sent niggas me thought he was gonna get she, gas because Elon me. Musk went on SNL. Y'all was, niggas is dumb, bro. I'm just like, I I'm see you. Crazy. Who's that? Oh, oh, you a little close. <laughs> yo, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, Peter, were you talking about Dogecoin? Yeah, Peter, were you one of the one of the very few who, who put a bunch of money on Dogecoin? Put a bunch of money in. Put a bunch of money in this morning when it dipped and sold at the peak, my guy. Would you sell it at? I bought it at like, well, I've gone in and out of Doge so many times, but like, I bought it at like maybe forty three cents today. Okay. Sold at sixty. You know what I'm saying? Not too bad. I don't get y'all, bro. If y'all know short term capital gains exist, why are y'all wasting yo, your time? Yo, yo, still 40 to 60 cents. So you feel yeah. that? You fuck with that? Peter, yeah, 30% of that money is going to the government. 30% of the profit is going to the government. So if that's you if don't, they catch me. Let me stop. So. <laughs> <laughs> yo, this thing is Peter. The IRS is watching. I, I'm joking, guys. Yeah, I don't. That's the reason nah. I haven't sold yet. They like, I want to. I have so much money in Ethereum, but they I don't want to sell. Because okay, but I was tempted to do so much because all the casuals tried to buy last night. So then everybody just sold. So I'm like, okay, well then everybody panic sold. So I'm gonna buy the dip. You make me we'll feel bad. It's basically gambling, but I, mean, like, I don't know okay. what I'm doing. No, I need. You don't know what you're doing, John. You legitimately don't. You have literally I, actually no idea. What none of us know what we're doing, bro. Yeah, no, but none I really don't know what I'm doing because you're calling me the casuals. You are. If you, we are if all you, casuals. If you, but nigga, I just heard the word Dogecoin. Nigga, if you bought in, Dogecoin because you know that nigga went on SNL, nigga, you're a casual dog. Hundred <laughs> percent. Like it's not. It was obvious because it. it keeps honestly, doing if the you same thing. if you started investing in the last two years, you're a casual. If you start investing the last two years and then your portfolio is Dogecoin. <laughs> that's the only thing you're. That's, like, not, that's what niggas are doing. I'm not right gonna now. lie, you bought but Dogecoin two years ago. Not, I mean. not, what else in your portfolio? Is it something else besides Dogecoin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, yeah, it is. No, there's no, not. There's not. I'm a casual. I just let my financial manager handle everything. But that just, means you have a larger portfolio than just the coins that you're the crypto coins. Oh, you yeah, have way more. Okay, but I'm then. still a casual though. I'm not. He's a worse. He's like a newbie. He's a victim, yeah. actually. A victim. That's hey, a you, strong you, word to you use. You are like you're the you money. That, you're the money. You're the person. You about to be the victim. Oh ah. yeah. Okay, you guys Is that a threat? Out. And I'm not getting life. <laughs> okay. I just, had, oh I, I just heard Dogecoin. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, Where'd you, know, you hear that from? I don't even think my mic's on. From downstairs? Oh, it's not? Yeah, that mic not be on. It, it was is. on. He, he, I turned it on. You know, producer John, get it done. Yeah, that's about yes, that's what that's Can you pop your lips right quick, Peter? Pop your lips? Yeah, like Lil popped his ass at the podcast. Like that? Let's check that volume. Pop on it again. There you go, man. Oh, Buckhead is lit now. Like lit, lit. Like super de duper lit. No, no more talking about Dutch coin? Okay. Really? This portion of the podcast is brought to you by Keeps. Keeps has revolutionized the way that men are treated for hair loss. Marcel, did you know two out of every three men will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35? They know that, Dean. That is tragic. Whoa. <laughs> that is tragic. <laughs> with Keeps, the process is very simple. You talk to, you consult with a doctor, a licensed doctor. They give you everything you need discreetly at your door every three months. And better than that, Marcel, you can get started for as low as $10 a month. Why don't you look at that? So it's cheap, it's convenient, it's discreet. You got to skip the awkward doctor visits and the long pharmacy lines. You get straight to it. And on top of that, Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of their competitors. When it comes to hair loss, prevention is key, ladies and gentlemen. It could take up to four to six months or more to start seeing results. So it's important that you act fast. If you want to act fast, if you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to K-E-E-P-S dot com slash P-T-P to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash P-T-P to get your first month free. K-E-E-P-S dot com slash P-T-P. It's a huge thank you to Keeps for helping sponsor this portion of the podcast. Uh, what mic is that? I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why you just switch yeah. mics? Cause I thought, cause he, I don't know if you knew. Lit what again? Yo, 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 yo. That's true. So. Uh, yeah, yeah. Buckhead is lit again, like crazy lit. Um, Think so? That's what's great. lit to you? I know for a fact it is. He said, "What's lit to you? What's lit to you?" <laughs> like, <laughs> like he think you're you can't, a casual. You can't, you can't go down the roads and his cars is like, like hanging out of the um. Of That's what nine clubs. Ubers do. It clogs the roads up. When they're small, but he's a newbie. Casual, <laughs> yeah, you're really a victim of Buckhead, you know. <laughs> Don't go down there, man. You're not normal. Israel. Oh, we went to uh, you know, what's so crazy too. We went to our, our favorite place now, you know what I'm saying? Gino's Pizza, Gino's, yeah, Gino's Pizzas, and that's right across Bro, the, street. the second I fucking got here. That was the first pizza I ordered in Atlanta. That shit is incredible. Was it? Is it thick? Oh, no, never mind. New so York style, Marcos. Pizza? Never mind. I tried Gino's too, it's valid. I think what kind Mar of pizza Marcos is, it? is incredible. Mo. Uh, well, I want it's it's not just peace like really like New York. Is it pineapple? Um, no, it's New York style. Oh, it's thick. It's no, it's thin. When is what? When is New I York? I thought New York. Thick? I thought it was like New York style deep dish. No, that's Chicago. That's Chicago. Time. Oh, they got that. I don't think so. It's but it's almost like a bodega though because it's more than just pizza. Like, oh, a sneaker shop. Got, what? A sneaker shop? A bodega? They have a they have a pair of shoes called a bod. It's a bodega store. It's like a hype beast store. I think the bodega. Oh, okay. Well, that's just them. They also they but they sell beef patties. They sell um, salads, chicken tenders, a whole bunch of stuff. But it's like almost like like very New York based vibes. Oh. But across the street, you know, your favorite place, Tokyo Valentino. I thought you were oh. gonna say Popeyes. You no. are the most visited Tokyo Valentino in this podcast right now. You are. You are the most. By, by one. By, you hold by the one record. Time. Is it true though? It is. What's on? Most visited. You hold the record. Hold right. that title, bitch. I hold the record. <laughs> record of most Tokyo Valentino yeah. visits goes to Marcel. <laughs> they, were, they were they were not Yay! only packed they were not only packed so much so at the regular like like parking spot. The other parking spot that we went to last time, there's a nigga directing traffic to get people in there. And then they were parking on the um in an abandoned <laughs> spot as well. Yeah, it was, I was like, fucking in there. I was like, nigga, how many people are in there right now? You and guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Did you go in? Guess what? A bunch of niggas walking around. A bunch of men. Doing what? Walking to Tokyo Valentino. Is that what you were doing? As if like it's a club. No, we just want to go get um, beef just patties. Just men walking? That men walking. No women? You went to Buckhead to get beef patties? <laughs> it's less than 50. It's, it's, it's literally, oh, well, beef patties, salad, pizza. Like we got a lot of stuff, but just beef patties as well. It's less than a 15 minute drive. We closed, huh? We okay. in the city, dog. Come on now. You know what I was thinking though? That just popped in my head. <laughs> like, I was thinking like since. Oh Lowe's yeah, Onyx, Onyx is back open. Onyx. It is. Yes. It is. Wait, snapping me again, nigga. Onyx is back open, nigga. Then what you talking about? You trying to? That's that's the actual. That's the actual. Dude, what are you talk? What are you trying to say, Low? You want to go? You don't gotta ask me, Low. 
Oh, bro, you know, you know, I got the ones in the Audi, man. You don't got it. And, and, and Onyx is like the way that Onyx is built. It's built like the um, shirt clubs in Miami, where it's like eventful. It's like a huge warehouse. Okay. Oh, you don't got to explain nothing to me. You don't got to sell me. You I already say, bought yeah, it, man. You already said yeah. You're Dodge. Crazy. Your offer is like Dogecoin. I already bought it. I'm a victim. <laughs> I'm a victim. But I was thinking about you know, I was saying like it makes sense. Like you went to Tokyo at Valentino the most. And Toko Valentino probably has over thousands of dildos. So that means over thousands of pair of balls. I mean, you've seen the most balls out of all of us. <laughs> Technically. I probably have seen the most like fake dicks out of everybody. That's what I'm saying. And each dick has two balls. <laughs> no so I you've seen have. the most balls going out of everybody in the room. No times I've seen it. Wait, no, but you've gone to other sex stores too. Uh-oh. Uh-uh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh oh. You've never gone to no other sex Uh-oh. store. Yeah, well, one other time, bro. Oh, so y'all tired. <laughs> so y'all both. But the one, the one I went to, I wasn't. It wasn't seeing. as big as Tokyo. Oh yeah, you went. You yeah. wait. Which one? You you went to another Tokyo Valentino, I went right? To the one small one right here. You went to Tokyo Valentino, right? I didn't go to the one where they were fucking. Oh, oh. so oh no, no, so we are tied. Oh, that dude makes sense. We're you tied. Went to the, okay, okay, my bad. We're, we're tied. tied. We're tied. We're tied in Tokyo visits, but you have the most dungeon visits. Oh, so you have the actual sex part where people fuck each other. Yeah, you have, you're still the most. Where men go in there and don't say what they do <laughs> when they come out. <laughs> But, you, but you've been to the top floor more more times than me. Oh, and was that the worst floor? That is scary. I've not been to the top. I went one. That's time. something that I, I like time. a hundred house. I've never been to the top floor. It's like a hundred house. So you terrifying. Be, I don't know why. I yeah. I guess I've been to the thing more. Nigga, than that me. place is packed. Top floor. That, that place is that bad. I'm gonna go back to the top floor. No, you're not, dog. Those are my people in there. The people. <laughs> yeah, you lost it. <laughs> you lost it. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. A, uh, that should be a that should be a um a punishment. Who's who's the that should be a who's the horniest out of all of us? The horn. What do you mean? Like who's the horniest? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, like, like who like pussy the most? Yeah. Or who yeah. hard right now? <laughs> like what are you talking about? We just saw his ass cracks to the podcast. I don't think none of us. So that hard. who does the most for pussy? That's what you're saying. Yeah. Who does the most for pussy? I don't think I do enough. <laughs> so is John. So is John. No, I don't, only I, don't, a horny I, don't do, I don't I don't only, do a lot. Only a horny ass nigga answers that question like that. Because I feel bad because I should be doing more. Yeah, that's John. That's John. Should I don't, be doing more? What does that I, mean? I feel like I don't do enough. What does that mean, John? It's just like, you know, like you say you try for pussy, like you just do the most. I do the least. Who, why have I said that? No, you just said that. You said who does Wait, the most. When you say horniest, is that what is... You gotta define that better. You gotta what define that, that better. Define horny to y'all. Like man? how? Who's like? Who's you, horny the most? Like who's the horniest? What does that mean? Does that mean? So you say you want to say like for example, like you said who's like the freakiest? For example, for example, example, for example, for example, all throughout the A and P links, there's a specific A and P member who's on Instagram DM requests twenty four seven. Like that's the horniest person. Wait, it, I, I got two people in my head. Because it's on his mind. I got, I got either two or three people. Yeah, I got two people. But it, it is actually two people. I'm not going to lie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so wait, 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 wait. <laughs> but you're talking about DM requests with girls or DM requests with fan art? and It's, it's fans, but it's largely girls, though. Okay. And guys aren't really oh, okay. well, nah, the DM. So that's one yeah, I know, out. I know it is. So yeah, I know who it is. Um... Yeah. Are you, uh, the point I'm making is Are you saying Who's horniest the most? Like, or if that's on your mind 24-7. Like, okay, no, I'm saying Or when you're horny... How crazy oh, No 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 not that That's oh, okay, kinkiest okay, okay, okay. That's like who's the kinkiest I ain't asked that no. that's So me. whoever get the most bitches You saying who get the most you, bitches Whoa, whoa, whoa. He, I said, said He said He said That's the kinkiest I said of course that's me This nigga said No I don't think it is Cause you described your limit You said You show You, you do like a, a kinky boy Like you get in that bedroom And go straight <laughs> Straight Felocious That boy I, I know you be, You get in that bedroom He be walking in All calm like this John, yeah, I just recorded a six hour stream. Give it to me. John, don't look at no nigga and say you like a kinky nigga, dog. <laughs> hey, hey, and don't kick your feet I like that. Know, my bad, my bad. Yeah. You say you like a kinky boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, don't he give you off like he all calm and cool. He get in that bedroom and do shit like you saw on his Asian? head. Yeah. You call this nigga a kinky boy. You just a freak. You just a you just a so you think you kinky on me? This is a crazy good. You said one hundred percent. Hey, that's not the conversation. Yeah, you said one hundred percent. We're talking about the. You try to put your nose you in the butt. You said one hundred percent. I think John might be the horniest. Huh? 
I think John might be the horny. When you say hornets, what you mean get like the most girls? Like nah, I don't get no. I don't say that. I don't get the most girls. I don't get that many girls. I don't get no girls at all. All right, John, don't play this fake humble routine, bro. No, I don't. I I need them. I just that's why I gotta go to the strip club because I don't get girls in a regular basis. I can't with John. I just we're not talking about relationships though. Being horny does not equivalent. I don't get nothing though. I'm not talking relationships. Like it's on your mind at all. That's what I'm saying. It's on your mind the most. Well, I, I think about the stuff I don't get. So, so is you? I, I guess. So I mean, low. I know low get more than me. No, it's not you. I do get. I get more you because I'm in a relationship, though. Do you? I'm assuming because if you, <laughs> if you said this nigga, this nigga just he just went back on the shit he just said. <laughs> nigga said I don't get enough. Like I don't do enough for it. I don't. I would. I was, confused. I, I, I would believe I do because I'm in a relationship. But if you say so, you have it every day. No. You talk about you don't work out. <laughs> it man so cap. If you uh, if you if you um if you get it every day or every other day, then But that doesn't that's not what that means though. He's saying if it's on your mind. Because yeah, that kind of means because you don't have to act on it. You just it's on your mind twenty. So who's on I I would still say it's John. You th- you think pussy's on my mind twenty four seven? Not twenty four seven out of all three of us. <laughs> Out of all three of us, who has pussy on their mind the longest? The and I think I think it's you. I, I, I probably can agree with that. Probably is you. I can agree with that. But you the, probably but you're, the, you're the kinkiest though. Like what Dean probably thinks man? about. No, he's the kinkiest. He thinks That's about muffler saying. and car parts, and you think I about think like gaming, bro. I Motown mean, greatest nigga. hits. You're <laughs> you're the kinkiest dog. You just said that. Said that. Hey, Low thinks about bro. record. You're Re- wait, wait, wait. I know you trying to get the old man jokes off, but yeah, I am. Hey, knock one old. old no, no, yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah. What <laughs> makes what makes he you watch, the He's watching r- r- reruns of Bernie <laughs> Mac. <laughs> that shit was actually fire. I bet it was. Yeah, you see all of it. If you watched him live. Yo, yeah. yo, yo, yo. Wasn't it? Huh? Yo, it would make him older. Yo, stop trying to. Yo, you're try, trying. Nah. You're he, trying your he got hardest. The whole, he think about the whole collection of that '70s show, the platinum <laughs> oh, edition. That show, that show was horrible. You're trying your that hardest. Show was horrible. It's that '70s show. He remembers yeah, season one of George show, Lopez. Remember the George bro, Lopez show? I fucking hated the intro. But dun, I dun, the show. Dun, 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 <laughs> I fuck with that show. Yeah, show. no cap. I know. How about my wife and kids? That shit went crazy. That's one of my best. Yeah, literally, that's top ten shows for me. What make what makes you the kinkiest? What about Mickey Mouse when it was black and white? I'd never watched him. How old are you? You might know about this, Lois. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't know about I don't. it. Remember Mickey Mouse on the boat every, with the pipe? Every, every cartoon I watched was in color. Nigga, <laughs> what? <laughs> in color. <laughs> black and white is a color. <laughs> no, nigga. Yeah, technically shades. Nigga, what makes you the kinkiest, bro? Yeah, what makes you so kinky? I don't think I'm the kinky. It's, it's, yeah, you it's the tangles in your curls. What makes you the kinky? What's the kinky shit you ever done, bro? Nigga, I'm asking you this question. Uh-oh. You're not gonna pass it on. He's to trying me. to toss it. What do you say? He's what's, trying to toss what's it. What's the kinky? Why? Why you think you're the kinkiest? Yeah, I genuinely don't think. <laughs> I don't think I am, bro. So you think it's low? Yeah, probably low. I said that before. You like, nah. Have you ate ass? No. Yeah, he's the kinkiest. I thought he was about to say, "Oh, I guess it's me now." Nah, he's the kinkiest. Have you ate ass? No. Nah. Trying to? <laughs> Lo, why you laughing with your tongue out? Hey, I, that's not, I didn't mean it like that. What I meant, like, like are you are you in the midst of like getting yourself to eat ass? That's what I'm saying. Like mentally, are you almost there eating ass? Like, is your nose by it? Like, have you ever, like, slipped your tongue? Hey, guys, let's chill out, man. I'm asking. When I was, th- I was talking about in Miami, when you up. eating ass, it's not really eating ass. You're just licking skin. <laughs> it's like a skin <laughs> that go in. It's like, it's really, it's the secondary Betty Butter. Yeah, John, what's the, what's the closest you've been to eating ass? No cap. Huh? Have you, how, how close you been to eating? closest probably from me to you. No, you mean like you've been closer than that. Hmm? You, no. never, you never been close to eating ass? No. Like, when, I, when you I, eating I, pussy and you never been close to I aim. I know exactly where I'm headed. I don't just close my eyes and go all slip up, and I know exactly what I'm hitting and what I'm doing and where I'm at. What about you? You can't lose your sense of direction. How, cl- how close have you been eating? Uh, sorry, I'm just give me a moment, bro. <laughs> he what? This guy asked for me to eat his ass on a podcast, so I just need a moment. I just think about <laughs> one bill. Oh, would you take you take See, what's Jeff? What's wrong with you this podcast? You bro? take would you take Jeff Benzo's um, net worth or eat Lowe's ass? 
What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I said it wrong. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. hey, I mean, hey, nigga I mean, it like it was a delicacy. <laughs> nigga. Uh, would you would you eat Lowe's ass for Jeff Benzo's net worth? Of course I would. What the fuck? Twice? Yes. Or or you have to eat it once a week. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so you for just, the rest of your life for the rest of your life. Uh, nah. But you get his. <laughs> you, but you get all Jeff money. Could I could I eat it once and in a week? No, nah, every like week. You just got to negotiate a day. So you just call him normally on Sundays and be like, yo. Shit, just pull that, th- bring that thing Wednesday morning. Just gonna knock it out. <laughs> <laughs> Moist. Yo, with you, yeah, low, come wash your ass this time, man. You I, ain't gonna lie, I would, I would dead ass eat a nigga's ass for Jeff. <laughs> 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 I'll be so sick. Chill out, bro. Jeff, chill out, chill out, chill out. Nigga, for Jeff Bezos' money? I would too, but not every week. <laughs> no, 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 not every week. Once a week. You think you get all that money for one ass eat? <laughs> Oh, eat that shit day weekly, boy, or bi weekly. Every time you get your paycheck. Look at this nigga trying to you gonna try to divide it. Oh shit. Or you could just double up. You could just eat it like seven days in a row, and then you got seven weeks off. <laughs> 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 ah, oh. So you can be like, low, you free this week, oh, like the whole shit. week. Just eat it. Every morning for oh. breakfast, oh. right before you brush oh, your teeth, and fuck. then you brush your teeth, and oh. you rich. Oh my god! Ain't nobody tell you nothing. I gotta god. be humiliating though. You retarded. Well, you eating a nigga ass for Jeff Bezos money? You asking me? Yeah. Is it worth it, Lo? I'm asking you. <laughs> I'm asking you. You ask me right back. Is it man. worth it? Like. What, what's the math? I might have done the math wrong. It's not adding up. Hold on. <laughs> what does this say? What, what do you think you got? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah. shit. Oh, oh yeah, my. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Yo, John, are you eating ass for Jeff Bezos' money? Jeff, how much is he worth again? I just want to hear it out loud. How much you worth? Uh, 191 billion. Hundred and ninety one. Okay, no, look. don't answer. I want him to. I want him to give me this answer first. Wait, what? What do you yes, got? You know, yes, he don't need another. This is an absurd amount of week to eat ass, bro. <laughs> Wait, I'm not, I'm not how many years lie. you do it? Huh? How many years you went? As long as he keeps giving me money, what the hell? No, you got it for the lifetime. I think it's like a, con- a lifetime contract. I've signed it up front. Sixty years. Oh man. Well, assuming <laughs> I live another fifty years. Okay, fifty. Okay. It is seven point three million a week. Wait, huh? Seven, what are you talking about? If you ate ass once once a week at one ass eating, seven point three million would just enter your account for fifty years. Holy moly! So you eating ass? I got to. <laughs> I got to. There's no other way. Like, there's no better route I could take. <laughs> Eat a little ass, and make a couple millions. Like, like you call me gay all you want to, bitch. I'll smack you with a hundred grand daily. I'll smack you every day with a hundred thousand. Uh, what you say, bitch? I'm, I'm sweet. What? Twenty thousand. Bow. Right across the face. Oh, Pick that shit up, bitch. You know what oh, I'm saying? Oh fuck. Say that number again. How much in my account every time I eat ass? Seven point. <laughs> so seven, how many? How, seven point three million. How, nigga. how many dollars per lick? You that break it down. Sense. That don't make sense. It does make sense. So it's so it's like it's like twenty thousand per lick. Okay. How much licks do you do per eating? Oh, God. How many licks per ass eating session? Let's say a hundred. A hundred licks. A hundred licks. God damn, <laughs> nigga. Okay, fifty. A hundred licks. I I don't know. I'm not you just sure. went up to one hundred fifty licks. I said fifty. Oh, okay. Like, you God. eating fifty That's licks like, per session? You eating the complexion out that butt, ain't you? <laughs> oh, but look at that thing. Clean. Each lick is a hundred fifty thousand, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Y'all niggas working nine to five. I'm making a hundred thousand per lick, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, I'm having for real. I'm having for real. I'm living like that. Can you have a re- any regular relationship with anyone else? No. Bitch, <laughs> you no. could. No. Imagine I'm making 100000 per lick. I could date anybody. Okay, okay, okay. How Let's add some complexity to this crazy hypothetical. What if you had to fly out to wherever he was to do it, though? So it Weekly? would take like a day out your week, but you well, only do 50 million. My, my for $700 million? Anyway. My my day is ruined for that. <laughs> that day is bro. Ruined I'm not working. I I move on my own schedule. <laughs> you move like, on that nigga. You move schedule. on Jeff Bezos. Schedule, you on bro. Jeff Bezos schedule. No, this is Lowe's ass we're talking about. <laughs> oh, it's been Lowe's ass the whole time. Oh, so you you 
No, I'm just saying so you got perceptions, not you, Jeff Bezos' so you, butt. So you would eat Lowe's butt, the one you saw at Seth's podcast. You said you <laughs> would. You would do it too. You said you would too. Nah. You eating my ass for $7.3 million. $7.3 no, $7. million? I'm not. I'm not. And you know why? Because you're friends? No, no, no. Because first of all, after. All right, why, why you swallow like that? <laughs> you like you seen the butt or something. Like you swallowing the disgust. This podcast. All right, take this in. Okay. After like a year, <laughs> you're going to be set for life. Like, there's no if, ands, what's or No, no, but, but that's not no, part of the deal. Take, they take all your money back if you stop. No, 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 I understand, but look, now, you're set for life, but you still have to, every week of your life, every day of the week, fly to eat this guy's ass, right? Yes. No matter where he is, bro, he could be in Antarctica. You have to fly to eat Why his ass the fuck ass he going to be out there, though? So, the point I'm making is, every moment past the first year, you're, you're already going to have enough money. You're not going to need $7 million more. Right, you're not gonna need 150 per leg, but, when, but you're no, still gonna have it's to. It's a go lifetime there, contract. If you so stop, saying, it's over. That's what I'm saying. For, so that's the first problem. Is after the first year, you're gonna be miserable because you don't need the money and you still have to lick. But then on top of that, it's gonna kill my drive, bro. Like I actually genuinely get happiness out of making progress. You know how hard it's gonna be to make progress knowing 50 licks is a is 7.3 million. You know how hard that's gonna be for me. You, you're not gonna want to work on nothing really. Yeah, like you could be the craziest venture capitalist because you just have money coming in. I don't have to do shit. But that's <laughs> like, boring for me, though. I would be way. I would actually be. I sad can. I can just I do. I nothing. can do whatever I really want. Like that's wh- worse whatever, for me. Huh? For me personally, that I just gain happiness out of like having structure and making progress. So I can't really just do nothing with yeah, my think time. Think about it. Each lick, you're getting more money. That's progress. I get it, but that's not how I find my happiness. Though I'm not happy because I have money. I'm happy because. I'm making progress. I can have no money, and as long as I'm making progress, what if you, want. oh, what, what if we throw in a deal? The better you eat it, the more money you make. So I'll double it. So you, you work on your ass eater, and you progress. There you, you go. That's something for you to work on. <laughs> yeah, this there time wasn't go. really it. You get now, your basic. Now you got something to work on on your off days. <laughs> yep. Just do do a little deeper. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on this opportunity. You're passing, now. but you can eat it up if you want to, bro. It's all you. Everybody in the comments eat it up. They gonna comment they not, but they will. They put you threw seven hundred. What do you say? Seven hundred point three million. Seven point three million right in front of you, right there, cash. One time I'll do it, but I'm saying lifetime. No, once you do it one time, it's oh, it, 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 it's about as good as doing a hundred. No, it's not. If you it's fuck not. one guy, if you fuck <laughs> no, one guy, not. you're sweet. No, like if you have me, sex with one guy, you're getting on now. my knees and eating a nigga ass once is not me getting on my knees a hundred times. It's bad as good. It's, it's just really the same thing. It really don't no, matter. It's, it's not. not. It really don't matter. You have to endure it you, ninety nine more times. A, you if say you straight and when I find out you fucked a guy, you're gay. But it don't matter how many times you have to. It's that. not I about know your you're classification. Gay. It's about the actual not enjoyable process. It's act, of exactly, eating. it's the act of you just doing that routinely. Once you. You eat breakfast, you eat food every day. You don't what get if, tired of what that. If, what if you start to like it though? Yeah. What if you need it? Like food. You <laughs> eat food every day. Like you know, you know how they like just like the psych, that psychology um, um like, experiment. You get anxiety. Where, like, His psychology not in your face. experiment where like they um they give people something and they reward them once they give it to them. So now by mentally you positive reinforcement. Yeah. Like you now. You know what it's called? That's one way to call it. I guess. Now all of a sudden, all of a sudden, when you just start eating ass, you just think like seven million is coming. So now you just look forward to eating ass. So now you just like eating niggas' asses. You kind of have to be enthusiastic about it too. That may not, turn you gay. He's not paying. I guess John. Because if but you eat an ass also, every day, you just like fuck him. I would just eat other ass too to <laughs> see if it tastes different. Not for free, John. But you're not. You're making seven million. <laughs> So you no, probably get some premium, other, but everyone else's ass is not going to pay you seven million. It's going to be a, that's you're doing that pro bono. Just yeah, but you just your heart. got so how long, used to how long, it. How long you think it'll take to do like how many seconds? How long you think it'll take to get fifty licks out the way? <laughs> <laughs> I need to know how long. Fifty licks. That's probably like fifty. You, you talking about throw licks, like like <laughs> deep licks or like. Thunder licks. Oh, we gotta change the subject. Hey, what's a deep leg, bro? Like a deep, you know, that like you you, you licked the ice, like an ice cream cone. <laughs> Look, here we got, we done. I didn't, say, no, I didn't, I didn't say a poker. <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> I ain't say a thrust though, tongue. I'm talking about like a. Yo, we talking about David Dobrik or not? A ice cream. You yeah, know, you get an hey. ice cream cone. Oh, hey. you lick oh we talking about David Dobrik. We're gonna start clipping up these podcasts. That's gonna be a video where we discuss eating ass for 20 minutes. <laughs> Are we gonna talk about David Dobrik, bro? What he do, bro? He delete a whole year's worth of content. Why? Because um, people on his ass, apparently people claiming that he don't give a fuck about his friends at all. That he's just doing everything for the content because somebody got severely hurt. 
I heard, I seen that. Oh, name. the guy that lost his face. Yeah, I seen they do. Um, I gotta make great videos. And I didn't know what happened, but uh, long story short, um, David Dobrik rented out a uh, a, a crane, a crane, uh, excavator, or a crane, or whatever it's called, and then he excavator. put he excavator? put a he put a rope. Yes, John. He put a rope at the end of it, it and it was swinging the people, swinging his friends around in the middle of like a swamp. It wasn't deep at all because he was he was able to walk in it and still be like like thigh thigh high. And then apparently he just thought like this is gonna be fun, so his friends jumped on the rope, and then like they're just like he's swinging, he speed up around, for him. and he just sped up for one of his friends, and then he stopped it, he stopped it just abruptly, and then dude's face just like got Boom. cracked. I didn't so, see the actual video. Is there a video of it? Yeah, somebody dropped something. Yeah, yeah, I think he dropped, dropped it on his YouTube. Um, but I think I think they cut he cut off the part where he got hurt though. Oh, yeah, you just see his face, but you no, see yeah, in the yeah. accident. No, yeah, you you see the lead up. You see him get slung, like about to get slung. Yeah, yeah. So I, oh. I heard about that. So David Dobrik apparently said that he wanted to come back with a bang because he stopped making videos for a while mm-hmm. and wanted to do a big prank. That was a big prank, and that didn't go according to plan. So he delayed his thing even more. And meanwhile, like he was just dailying it on Twitch. He's actually pulling like a decent like two to six thousand on Twitch. David really Dobrik. Yeah. That good. Yeah, it's really good. No, really good is like twenty thousand, but that's good. Um, so, I mean, I don't, I guess, I don't like how people pretend to know from the outside looking in. Mm. I don't, I don't, but now I don't know enough about the situation to, to really be commenting on that. Shout out David Dobrik, bro. It's more Look, information keeps coming out though, where it's not, every, every time more information yeah, come I out, bet. it's like, he's a eh. prankster. He's a prankster. If, if fucking, um, who's that guy Peter watches 24 seven? Danny Duncan. If Danny Duncan... <laughs> Friends came out. They would say the same thing. Danny Duncan made us do that. As long as they have a decision in the matter, they also hold some responsibility. You can oh, decide yeah, for sure. whether or not you want to participate in these pranks. If you don't, then don't do it. But, you know what I'm saying? If David Dobrik is saying, like, I need content, and this is my content, and you need clout, and I got clout, and if that's a transaction, and you're agreeing to it, then don't turn around later, and you know what I'm saying? But from the looks of it, I watched one of the videos from the guy who lost his face, and... um he, he didn't seem to be, like, mad at Dobrik. He said he agreed to do it. Dobrik asked yeah. me to do it, yeah. and then I agreed to do it. So yeah. he wasn't mad at Dobrik at all. I don't know about these other cases coming out. Some of the sure. other ones are, um, I mean, a lot of them, well, obviously, I think everybody knows about the um, the situation with the, um, the woman where she felt like she was taken advantage of and, Everybody kind of just played it oh, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's separate. Yeah. That one, that one's not his friend. That's though. not. Yeah, that's not. That didn't happen directly to David Dobrik. It was someone who's associated with it, his friend who did that to another woman that wasn't their friend. But David knew about it. But so David, that was his yeah. involvement. Yeah. He, he knew about it. Um, so that's still there, and he kept the he kept the video up for um, years. But I'm saying what I'm referring to is the year worth of deleted videos. I'm assuming it was just pranks and dumb shit with his friends. Yeah, and he um, <clears throat> took it down. I think a lot of people were just putting um, a lot of blame on him because he they feel like maybe he, he uh, coerced them. He used his power, kind of leveraged the situation. Um, yeah, which I think is, is some some truth to that. I know I I Not highly some. doubt it's completely true. But some of those people and were David there Dobrik for had such zero a, subscribers. Are people doing those pranks? No. No, but they they but the, some of those a lot of those people have been there for such a long time that they just been a part of the ride the entire way. So the point I'm making is that even when he had smaller subscriber account where it might have just made more sense to say no, they still did it. And so um, I agree. Like in some parts, they had some level of involvement with it because obviously they're human beings and they can say yes or no to it. Um, and you should at least evaluate the risk of anything that you're doing. Um, but in a lot of ways, that's just who he was. The thing that we were arguing, though, is about his level of consciousness about him creating content. And is he fully aware of decisions that he's making as he's making the content? And I, per- I personally still feel like I just don't think in the moment he necessarily gives a fuck. Like, I just don't think he cares. I think he's just more consumed with the actual process of making content. Yeah, and, like, his content is the type of content where, like, you want to one-up yourself all the time. Yeah. So your shit just gets bigger and bigger. And, like, we saw how that exploded with Logan Paul in 2018. Ah! Your boy, John. I predicted it. Nah, nigga knows already bruised. Hmm? <laughs> nigga knows already bruised. What do you mean? Nigga snatched your hat off of Floyd. <laughs> nigga Jake. Loves- Jake got hit, though. Oh Jake, oh, okay. Oh, it's Jake. Okay, I, you know I don't Jake's know. You know, I don't know the difference between those Paul brothers. Those, a big difference. Those, so those, Jake got his nose broken. 
I don't know if he's broken. I, but it was I, heard, I heard his eye was bruised. I didn't see nothing about his nose. Oh, maybe his eyes. Who hit him? Floyd. Floyd, nigga. Oh, I didn't know if he got a punch off. But it's, I don't, it's Floyd. But I forgot Floyd was bald. I see the picture of him. I'm like, I think you forget that Floyd is a boxer. That's why I think you forget. I forgot that. he was bald too. Cause yeah, oh, here fight. and like the little, mm. like his beard, like he was like in an old civil rights movie. Like I don't know what it was. I don't know about the beard, the, the photo they put around. It wasn't a good one. When is it? It's is like actually, another like two months. I have months? no idea. I'm assuming it's in a month. Actually, no, because that's when Jake's fight is. Two months. They, they fighting that soon. If it's in two months, I dead it, go. It was supposed to be early this year, or late last have year. Tickets, have tickets went on sale yet? I don't know, but they they pushed it back. It's, it should have already happened. They pushed it back. Oh, the Logan Paul, Logan Paul and Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, they already pushed it back. Okay, Who you I, got? But I just thought they were going to flat out cancel it. But apparently they pushed Man, it back. Are they in the same weight class? I actually don't know. No, they're not. And it's it's not a, it's not an official fight. Like they're he's letting, not going to go on there. They're letting like, Logan fight not, not at his what? size. Yeah. You said Floyd gonna win no matter what. Don't what That's you doing? Wild. It is wild. That's wild. No, if but Floyd, Floyd, if, if, Floyd if Lo- is a I, better let me, boxer. Let me, for say, let, me say, let me say, I still think Floyd's gonna win. Yeah, for sure. If, if Logan, John, if, do you think Logan's a better boxer than Floyd? No, I'm saying like the size is the size doesn't matter Answer because question, John, huh? Do you think Floyd is a better box? Do you think Logan's a better boxer than Floyd? Boxing started back in the day, so you put gloves on your hands to protect the face from the same thing. So, huh? I'm is doing, Logan I'm do, a better I'm doing boxer? the dean. Logan, is he a better boxer? See. No, see. Just yes see, or no. Like, he does YouTube, right? Is and Logan he has a, a be- big fan see, base. See, but this right but, here is evidence of that. See, people like you. <laughs> <laughs> Does that? Uh, Remember when I asked him, I was like, I was like, I was like, nah, nah, I was like, dead ass though. If he murders somebody, he deserves life, or if you don't accidentally see my view on it is that. Oh my gosh! See the but, way um, you're not looking at it like this. It's like, nah, we know who's a better boxer. Logan, you think size matters though? I think that's size. It does. It, Logan's if, like if, six if, four. Bro. If Logan was a professional boxer at his height and size, he would be Floyd. What? He was professional. If he was a professional boxer, you even like, Floyd, if even Floyd, if, if he was a really, really good professional boxer, like I mean, not that really good. If he was a really, really great professional boxer at Logan size, he would be Floyd. I mean, yeah, but I'm saying like the size gonna make a difference now too. Now Floyd's Floyd's no. still gonna win. No, no. Excuse me. No, if if it's a really good boxer, let's put a thousand on it. I'm not saying this time because I don't think Logan. That's is like really, that's really, like, I don't think Logan is a that's great like, boxer. That's like Floyd being Kai. And Duke, no, it's not. It is. That's the worst comparison I've heard in my life. No, Those guys if, don't box at if, all. But if no, if, if, has three if Kai, if Kai Floyd. was Floyd, if Kai was Floyd, look about the size comparison. If Kai was Floyd and Duke was just an amateur boxer, Duke would still probably whoop Kai because no, the size not, difference. Not, no, not an amateur. Let me be very clear. I'm talking What'd about if someone had the same technique as Floyd, or maybe just a slightly lesser technique. So they got to beat Floyd, Floyd, but bigger to beat him. Basically. That's what I'm saying. In that situation, that's when height and size. So who's gonna win this up. fight, though? Floyd is gonna win. That's easily that change anything. Easily. Is that what you think, John? Easily. You think Floyd's gonna win, John? I said I'm asking you, and I'll answer his. Easily. <laughs> You're not gonna answer that, actually. So I want you to answer this first. Go ahead. Easily. Um, it's gonna be a flawless you know, victory. You know, I, no, I don't think it's gonna be easy because I think it's gonna be hyped up and rigged. To be honest with you. So they're gonna. So I you think, think I think they're gonna extend it as long as possible to make it seem like. Logan is going to be oh he can keep up with like that's going to be the headline like oh he can keep up with Floyd. You think Floyd do they? How much do they got to pay Floyd take to lose? I've heard in my life. How, how much did, would Floyd agree to that? How much you got to pay? It doesn't Floyd go to against lose? his record. It's not. It's not an actual. It doesn't. It's about his reputation his as an undefeated fighter. No, oh, it's about his reputation by being a money maker, nigga. And after he does that, how much? How he's much? He's going to buy into. Um, he's undefeated. So how much is it? You think that's to pivotal Floyd? to him being the greatest of greatest, all time. Uh, he gonna be undefeated he and lost to Logan Paul. This is not a Paul? real. It fight. doesn't matter. That's still a loss. It's a lo- if Floyd lives by how he it's trains, not a- he's not losing by any means necessary. TMT, the money team. The money team. Remember when that when I was at the its peak and random like regular everyday niggas was wearing TMT hats and I was like, nigga, you're not part of the money team, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Just stop. Man. So wait, so easily. <laughs> So John, what you think now? Now that low answer, he just oh, you, what you say? Yeah, I just went through a whole John answer about a cons- okay, question. Okay, I, I okay. kept holding this I podcast gave, I gave back. I a conspiracy theory. No, oh, that's what I was saying. I yeah, 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 I was saying how much you think the tape? To, no, um, no, no, for no, Floyd, no. How much to play Floyd? Who's to gonna move? win, John? Answer the fucking question <laughs> on this podcast, please. All right, let me let me look into the future. Let me see what I see.
I see it. You know what, what you I saw? See? What'd you see? I saw a great fight. And who won? I was at the nosebleeds. I don't know why I was so deep in the stands, but you provide way too much context. John. Who won? Who won though? Who won? Huh? Who won? I'm looking, I'm looking. I see, I see the refs. They're raising up a glove. Uh, who Who's glove? holding that glove, John? I'm trying to see. Is it a Caucasian arm or a dark skin <laughs> arm? I'm trying to see it now. It's kind of blurry. It's taking a lot out of me. My stamina is decreasing rapidly. Decreasing? Yeah, it's fine. His <laughs> grammar's decreasing too. <laughs> Are you gonna say it, John? Uh, you know we got a we got a, we got a podcasting run, John. Ah, uh, right? dang! I lost it. I lost it. I was so close. I was in there. I got I got you know, a little bit. Think about that right there. How you lost that, John? But um, is that like a few weeks ago? You were certain that Logan was gonna win. But but I mean, it's I, interesting I, how you I think lost I said, it no, right I said, now. I said that Logan's gonna Logan Paul's gonna put up a fight. It's not. If Flo's not gonna go out there and just spank that boy like a like a abuse, who's lost, gonna win, bro? Blind baby. Look, no, everybody agreed with you. That's not what it was because we said the same thing too. Because Floyd doesn't just go out and but spank I said, niggas. I said you said Logan had a chance. There's a possibility for Logan to it's win. A, it's a possibility. And, yeah. And is. what is that possibility? Uh, percentage wise. Yes, nigga. Um, nigga. Um, <laughs> um, percentage wise, I say forty-seven percent. What? A horrible take, bro. <laughs> that nigga said it's like a 50. He didn't say it's 50 50, nigga. No, I'm, I said 47. I didn't say 50 50. Nigga, that's 3% off of 50 50. But it's not 50 50. If something costs 47,000 and 50,000, it's a difference. Ba- that's almost a split decision. That is basically a split decision. Yeah. That's how I come down to. That's how boxing is. That type of sport. Based on decisions and percentages and, and whatnot. You think somebody's going to get knocked out? No. If they, someone do get knocked out, I'm going to think it's rigged. I think it's rigged. <laughs> it's gonna have to be. If nobody gets knocked out and goes to the judges, people are gonna think it's rigged too. It's gonna. It, 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 it's I no. There's no way. Actually, to be think, rigged. There's, I actually think there's a way higher chance of Logan getting knocked out than people probably realize. He fight. He fights with his um his arms down. He doesn't defend properly. I mean, I think somebody. There's a real. I think chance. he has people around him that that know the same thing you know and told him that that if you don't. Fight if that was the, the case, way, then why didn't he do it against KSI? Because he didn't know then. He didn't know KSI was. It was his first time really boxing, wasn't it? He but I think KSI. I think if I'm about to twice, if, if I'm about to tied the first time, if I'm about to fight Floyd's Logan Paul, to, to him, bro. And they lost to KSI. You think Floyd is not going to be him? If I am Logan Paul, actually, I, I tell you, you know what's so crazy about that fight? That the KSI fight, he could have actually won if he didn't do the cheap shot on his way down. Uh-huh. So that was that was a close fight um, as well. But you getting close to KSI, nigga, you're losing. The fight. But how long ago was that? A year, a year and a half, year, year and a half. Year and a half, so that's he has almost. He made, he made up. He made up that that a uh, ten year different in, in training in one one year. We never. No, my, people, not, not ten people years. People are freaks years. of athletes. Sometimes people just pick up stuff quicker than others. They may not be the best at it, but you don't gotta be the he best. Picked it up, picked it up. All right, John, in eighteen John, months, he picked it up. John's bullshitting, man. John is bullshitting. This is I am not podcast because John's bullshitting. Too I am much. not podcast. Uh, anyone who thinks that Floyd is gonna. I didn't say he, I didn't say he's going to. So I said it's a possibility, but it's always a possibility. It's not hundred percent guaranteed. You know, why did you say it if it's so pointless that it's always the case? But no, but it's not. You're saying like it's guaranteed. He said it's forty seven percent, dog. Huh? That's not even half. All right, John. It's almost. Hey, man, y'all listen on Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher. We appreciate your Apple Podcast. Who we just hit four thousand five stars. Thank you for that. Y'all new to the podcast, man? You haven't already? Make sure you drop that five star. The video is available. On YouTube at Peer to Peer, hit the notification bell. Make sure to join. Know the gang, 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 and also click the link in the description for the Patreon. Oh dog. yeah, I forgot to promote that. Uh, hey, we do have a Patreon. We're uploading oh. different reactions on there. Ooh. Um, we did some like freestyle segment with Flo Lucci, just extra stuff that would make the videos too long, bloated, or just would get demonetized, copyrighted. We found a home for it on the Patreon. Top link in the description. Go to Patreon.com/slash Playback. Um, real affordable tiers, I'd say. Real, real affordable. And there's a whole bunch of different perks outside of the videos, but that's just the main one. Um, word of mouth, people. We appreciate y'all as always, man. Soon come, we're gonna get Jimmy Butler on the podcast. Um, hey, John, you got something else to say, dog? About what? About life, dog. Any closing remarks? Um, hey, man. Let me give you some advice. So, in life, if a door is locked. Leave it locked.